And he does eventually fold. Good fold. JRP tells him a good fold. But he doesn't fold before losing $218,000 to JRB. I looked at the amount of tickets. One is on the table, my friend. Huh? One is on the table. You have more you fold, right? Sorry? You have more you fold? I don't think so, because, like, you don't have a queen jack. You went to stand up. Maybe, I don't know. I can't fold when I bet 175. Yeah, I actually thought he would fold 10 jack on the flop. In that situation, you just say yes. What are you going to do? You can't fold. You'd love to see it. A pure coin flip. Uh-oh. How much is that? 450. Easy call. Once or twice. You have a pair? Yeah. One pair? Two. You have two pair? Is that no good? It's good, obviously. 893K pot. Buddy. It's our money. We're going three times. Twice, twice, We're twice, going three times. Twice, go, twice. Wait, man. Stop. It's our money. We're going three times. Wait. There's no ruling. It's our money. We're going three times. Louis, I think we should let huh? do it. Yes, he wanted it, and I agreed. Louis, I think we should let Matt, we, we said we agreed. Three, guys. Three, guys. Three, guys. Okay, you guys can run it three times. Chill. I hope he gets one. I'm adding a million Keep adding, Ben. Love it. Empty that thing out. What the fuck is going on in that bag? Can I get one of them bags? Magic Brian, bag. give me a bag. What the fuck brand is that bag? It's a bottomless pit of fucking shit. Okay, pulling out Monopoly money. Here, come here. You, you want to get an exact count of jail these shits? I'll do it for you. 500. Hey buddy, stay off my stack. One minute. Uh, mind your business. One, one, two, three. Huh? What is exactly? Is, it, is, 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 that, is that proper etiquette? Five. That would count me down. 1285. Ben's on tilt, and I'm here for it. Adding 1.5 million over bet. Make the best fold of my life ever here. With a straight or a flush. Wow, Rob is not raising. He's considering folding. This would be fantastic. Just I, the idea of folding is absurd. 83. Hey! How do I not win infinite in this hand? This guy is so disrespectful. That's what he said, right? The hands that would probably fold. Call the clock on the turn. It's a thousand big blind deep pot. Someone's calling the clock on the turn. Wesley catching up on some sleep. Durr. What are we doing? Oh, oh, you win. I know I win, probably. Uh-oh. It's just if I'm shoving it up here. It's if I shove the river or not. <laughs> I'm never folding. It's if I shove the river or not. Do I shove or not? No, it's pretty close. Of course you shove. It's definitely close. Pretty close. These two used to have beef, Doug and Tom. Okay. Wesley, you're okay. If I thought you fucked There's two combos. There's six, seven, two, the king, six, super. They fold in? Yeah. Let's go. All right, I'm back in the mix. <laughs> Who is this guy? Did you three bet? Yeah. <laughs> I guess. I guess now we know how to. Let's go. Let's go. Who's left? Just these two? Hands? Oh, that's not cool. Okay. Guess what? I like the trap was set. However, Rob slithered his way out of it. See how red Tom Blanc's face is there. Really frustrated. Annoyed. <laughs> Can't even look at him. Guys up like three million. This <laughs> is one pot. <laughs> He looks like he's. He looks like one breath. He looks like he's just like on the verge of death. Zero, zero, zero. You got like one breath of life. One hundred twenty-five thousand dollars in the biggest pot we've seen so far today, and Tony G on the wrong side of it. Two hundred thousand dollar bet from JRB, and Rob very quickly makes the call, and we've got an eight hundred and twenty-six thousand dollar pot, biggest pot of the night. No, he lets it go. And Keating shows. This, this time it was, yeah. Yeah, it should be two, yeah. He's, he's two. Yeah. Didn't do this time, well, this time it was. Because there's already action, so. You can't change the action now. Well, 
One thing about you is you always know shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a cooler. Top two against bottom set. I fear for Alan Keating stack there. Boat over boat. I fear no more. Keating is gonna win a huge one. No, the only guy putting real chips in the, in the <laughs> pot. And you guys are all sitting there the snug, snuggling it up and then and, and don't want to fucking. Okay. Don't worry about it, dude. I'm 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 stuck 220 after after playing eight minutes. And you guys want to change the unchanged ones. It's alright, go ahead. You guys start rocking and rolling and then have something to say. And JRB is gonna call quickly. And aces for max value. Wow, aces, that's, that's a setup. I, I am about to whinge about how little I want in the hand, though. <laughs> <laughs> JRB's the best. <laughs> if, if it's just like a fucking three on the river, you just, I get him for like a 200 ball. Nick Airball with jocks. Oh, okay. Where do you... I don't know. He's gonna muck. He's gonna around a lot. Oh, that's fine. It's probably yep. And he would have flopped a set of jacks here. And he's going to get paid off. Rampage here. Trips over trips. And he lays it down. Wow. And of course, Airball has Hold to show. Aces. Fucking stinks. That was like a fucking setup hand. That was like fucking unbelievable. That's just not not normal. I folded aces. That's like fucking sick. Okay. I quit. I quit. I quit. I quit. I, quit. I, I play. I play. I quit. It's okay. I quit. I play. On your bike. <laughs> On your bike, Tony. You and your aces. Back to Santa Monica! Wow. <laughs> I have never seen that. He's just gonna... That's... I know. And that's why it's great for the game. Not that I care. Uh, yeah, I'm so happy to bluff the guy. I didn't know about the stand-up game. I didn't even show it. <laughs> Oh, so, so Boogie looks like he just you ran up, three though. miles hey, on the Boy, beach in the middle of summer. What's up? Forgot to put nice sunscreen on. Damn it. 23, 100. Are you careful? Take it. Oh. Yes. Oh, she's got the ace. Damn it. Oh, I didn't think she had it. Nice hand, Benny. Oh. DK is going to take this one down. I tried. I tried. I tried. So that's the stand-up game, too, that's, that caused Alex to do that, I think. She's still looking for her marker, along with Raver, Hillary, and I believe Brazil God. Me and Badu. Yeah, he's scared. Yeah, I was scared. He, he's trying to make the, the nuts, otherwise he doesn't bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, stop, yeah, stop, yeah, stop, stop he's, scared, he's scared that you might check mm. right bet bet with him, right? Yeah. Scared. Yo, this is out of line. This is out of line. I'm dumber than I look. Well done, Wesley. <laughs> well done, Wesley. <laughs> Isn't everyone else with three bet with ace queen? What? Except for you. <laughs> everyone else except you with three bet with ace queen. Are you deaf? Yes. Mm. Uh, little bit Chinese, little bit English. Look at that look. Pretty good. So, Jimmy, you're in trouble the rest of the way. Oh, oh there's a Jack. You come and see one go to town. What's up? Today, Jack wants the card. Wow. Oh, and there's the, another Jack. Emergency school! 
And Sashimi needs a king, or Peter is gonna scoop, and he Tony. does. Gets it in bad, and wins a pot of almost $133,000. Uh, so Nick does get the scoop. Brittany finds both the fours. Oh, he folds. Wow, I did not see that coming. And of course, we're gonna have to take a closer look. Five. Hey, 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 that's you, that's you. Now, now six yeah. will come. Okay, Satoshi. Two pair <laughs> for Satoshi and Anthony looks sick. Now six will come. Oh, nine! He's Trip dead! Nines. He's dead! <laughs> what is Mariano doing? What is... Why is he smiling? It's snapped off by Charles's flush. And Charles wins a $142,000 pot with seven deuce of clubs. Walker, did you put what your a strange hand. Do you think this is PLO? Do you think your blockers work here, Professor? Crap doesn't come my way. What hey, is going on here? Hey, it's your birthday! It's your birthday! Happy birthday! It's your birthday! Happy birthday! It's your birthday! Happy birthday to this gal! Happy birthday! It's your birthday! Happy birthday! Have some fun! Oh, you got some right here. So painful, man. Looks like he's gonna release, and we're gonna see it in both Mars and Andy are gonna jump out of their seats. A scramble. Oh my god. Fuck, man, I knew it. I, I, I had a feeling too, Mars. It's 7 uh, 5. It's not even 5 8. Three, nine, right? I have 3 5. The other hand. God damn. Not even 5 8. I open the black, black. Back it up. Three this. side. Three side. Oh, man. God. You win. Oh, the ace on the turn. Wow. Watch out, watch out, Mars. Ace queen. Ace queen down. You win. Mm. Yes. Lucas got King Jack. That's the read. Did they side? Yeah. Let me see. Nice. That's good, eh? I call. He calls! Look at that! Shit, how can you get aces so easily? Max value! You had a bear you got, that king has. Lucas Go. got an 80. Key, you have, I mean, you have an out. King! Key! Oh my god. king has. I'm so killed. Two things, anyone can get it. Nice, him. Give him another 10k, Link, Link, do something. Queens again, Link. Finally, Professor does let it go. What a bluff from Stanley. Oh, a bluff? Bluff. Hey, hey. See Nicely screen. done. Yeah, I almost called. But somehow I changed my mind in the last minute. There's sunburn. Oh, he breaks oh. out. Yeah. Six, three o'clock. Six, three o'clock? Oh, yeah, they had to get away. Oh, That's a lot to miss. Thanks for pointing that out. Link Link work hard. Not for me, this guy. Jeremy, look who's doing it. No, no, no. You still hate your seat? Your old friend, Magic. I know, he was trying to steal JTC. Comes and goes. I get 40k. Not for me, this guy. Jeremy, look who's doing it. No, no, no. You still hate your seat? Your old friend, Magic. I know, he was trying to steal JTC. Comes and goes. I get 40k. Well, there's an eight. He doesn't have to worry about it. Yeah, he makes the gutter. All in. And all in. It's only 138,000. Yeah. You gotta let it go correctly. Like a bluff. Might have been a bluff on the sign and then value on the river. 
good read. I mean, spot on. They're, they're going to split this three ways. Ridiculous. What a run out. I mean, this is a chop. So sick. Chop it up. I thought oh, yeah. oh, yeah. it was dead. I thought it was dead. Oh, my God. I it. That's what I said. Hillary and Nate are both tilted for different reasons. <laughs> The last time I ate this here the other week, I lost too. Oh, there's 34,000 people. Just try. Just try. You got to try to do it physically. Ooh, there you go. Talk to lock in. Try. You want to try to do it physically? Yeah, try, try, try. Hit me. We can go outside if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit me. Try. Come outside. Try. Try. Come at him. Hit me. No balls. No balls. Oh, this is out of line. Look at Luis coming. He's running in. He said you love to hurt me physically. Then he opened up his body. You saw how he opened up his body? I saw that. He said, hit me. Lock in. I was talking to Nick and he started talking to Nick. Nah, you weren't talking to Nick. Stop it. It just felt like it was building. Christian, who do you got in a fist fight? I don't know, dude. I got Wesley, man. Yeah, Wesley, Wesley's, Wesley's locked in. Fierce. He turned his body and said, do something. They really go at it, right? He wasn't passive about it. Yeah, big pot energy here. This looks like it's probably going to ball in. It is. Rip it. All of it. 715,000 in the middle. Two boards, Sammy. Oh! Wow. Man. Up. The River Queen. How much can you buy him for? As much as you want. Third best player in China. I don't think Wesley counts as a player. You have to play hands to be a player. He's a spectator that sits at the table. I don't see how he can fold Chuck. Uh, you got it, you got it. There you go, you got it, you got it. And he does have it. Wow. Good hand. That's the cooler we've been waiting for for two days. It was bound to happen. You play enough poker, you see enough hands, it's going to happen. Can't really beat much. He, he does lets lay it down. go. Ben making all the wrong moves right now. I didn't wow. think there was a world where he folded that. I thought. Yeah, he's I tilted thought. out of his mind right now. He's gonna take a walk. Up. There's the Ben tilt walk. I mean, I would like to say one day. I just lost like 850 k. I was from before there. I was from before. Jam really chances it. You would jam the play. He bet the turn. I never get told by work. I sure, dude. Are you kidding me? I sure as hell would. I know, even if I'm wrong, Rick, Rick would be happy for me to call, even if I'm wrong. I know that. Sick hearing this. And he'd be really pissed if Barn. I pulled. Clock. Airball calls the clock. Desperation move. How many seconds? Hands dead. Nick Airball gets it through. You guys all are playing tight. Let's play, let's fucking gamble. Come on, Jeremy, call. Rick's screaming at you. Wow. Listen to your boss, call. Come on, Huss. But if you let me call, I would've called. Okay. Airball. Let's go. What a Four timely gambling, clock call. Right? Let's bluff, come on. I think that was the difference. Put these guys to the test, Rob. Let's show them how his bosses play. You were right, Rick. I should have listened to you. Rick, that was for you, baby. Cool. You win. Slow roll. Place. Good call, Wesley. You finally put money in the pot. Well done, Wesley. Yeah. He, can, he can say whatever he wants about me. If he wants to put on my mom, then... Yeah, he crossed the line. What you gonna do? I don't talk to him. I'm not gonna not talk to him. He just talks. I'm not gonna not talk to him. <laughs> and he's gonna fold, and Rampage gets it through. Oh my god. Unbelievable. We got a game! Wow. Hill. Hill. Hand of the weekend. Kids got heart. Did I lost a 25 picture? No, you blinded it out, bro. <laughs> Come on, Wes. You, you can't just give him the, the alley-oop like that. 
at the end of the stand up game, heads up for rolls. Yeah, okay. That's yeah. Heads up for a mill. So at the end of the stand up game, they're going to play one hour heads up. An hour? Hands well, is stuck. stuck. Is oh, actually, Hands is like, he's smiling, but he's hating it. He's like, really? I'm oh, losing, man? Uh, I feel like it's a bluff. Bluff? No one time bluff. Oh, but you want to see it here? Uh, <laughs> shout out is really wrong. Queen Deuce. I actually going to bluff no matter what. Duh. So tilting. My <laughs> Come here, God damn it. With 13,000 with the third best hand in a three-way pot. You do? Oh, I had the best. You locked it up. See, my Sam's shitty. He locked it up, buddy. Right now, all you have to do is just say raise, he full. Yeah. <laughs> 274,000. <laughs> Let's see if he's going to get a raise in here. No, he's just going to call the entire way. Smooth call the entire way in a $200,000 pot for Tony G. Bro, you know what they asked me? I got called, I said, they woke me up with a call, they said there might be a seat for you. 20 minutes later, I was here with a beer in my hand, ready to go. We've I seen... nearly pulled it. If you bet 160, I Wow. I put you down like, mm. you just didn't bet enough. That was one of the bigger... If you ever bet the pot, I would have folded. I think it's fine. I can bluff sometimes. Wow, it's gonna show it. It's scary when they call your cards out and you're bluffing, right? Yeah. <laughs> Put money in, so you have to explain it to your wife. <laughs> Just kidding, she doesn't get it. I'm not calling three times. Trying to trap you, because I think you're weak. <laughs> <laughs> you're so bored. Look at those chips. What's stacks and stacks. I gotta make rent this month. Clock, everybody, everybody clock. clock. Me! Hold! <laughs> Hold! Chop, 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 chop. <laughs> DK's gonna win it with a pair of deuces <laughs> and collect the bounty. <laughs> What an absurd hand. Thank you so much. And he's angling me in the fucking three seat. It's over. It's over. over. It's 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 over. It
I've never seen this before. If you show me that, he's gonna have that beard. If you show me that, he's gonna have me that beard. Thank you. Finally. Finally. She didn't even give me a second to moan about it. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. That's me. See? Fuck you, Emma. Get the no. Get the member out of the body.
only pass through this life once. When you get old, all you're gonna have left is your memories. So make them good. Never fall. Lord to the game and the bankroll. We gon' add it up when we get low. I know my life is black, I'm a chat pro. All in, let's go. Monday through Friday, what should we do? Catch us streaming live right on YouTube. ACL family, this is our house. Keating on the show, bet it all now. J Boogie, walk away, never overplay. Max value, max pain, this is not a game. Hit that thumbs up, let's go for a ride. Come and join the stream, we're starting at five. Raise it up. Chat Pro. From high above Hustler Casino in beautiful Los Angeles, this is Hustler Casino Live, brought to you by High Stakes Poker Productions. I'm Charlie Wilmoth, and this weekend, the NCAA tournament will play down to the Elite Eight. Tonight, we've got sort of an Elite Eight of our own, a group of eight players that includes Pepe, Ling Lin, and Action Dan, all bringing their own form of March Madness. So let's see who's got game this Wednesday evening as we play some 25-50 No Limit Hold'em here on Hustler Casino Live. Here we are now inside the Crystal Room at Hustler Casino as these players get set to battle this evening. We've got Dan there in the middle. We've got Dylan Flashner, Sandor, and several more players will be joining us later in the evening. I played the small one for a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was track suit. Yeah. We played, yeah, we played a little bit. It was fun. As we get set to get things going here tonight. Oh, Airball's here. I see Nick Airball and DK there in the background. I'll get up there, Airball. She's ready? Oh, So let's meet our players. This is Crypto Drew. Who's a tech entrepreneur in C2. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Good, thanks. C3, we've got Dylan Flashner, actor and producer, star of the new movie Prey. Very lucky massage. Yeah. This is a run good massage. C5, we've got Dan. Crypto and poker enthusiast from Toronto. He's played on the show a bunch recently and has up, earned his nickname. What's up, How's it How are you? Oh, okay. uh, Seat nine. Got Zio, motivational speaker. And over in seat seven, Sandor, Sandor Poker on Twitter. Host here at Hustler Casino now. Well, let's see the starting chip counts. Pepe buying in for 100,000. He's not here yet, but he will be. Down to Sandor buying in for 10K. We're going to be playing 25.50 with a $50 big blind ante. Uh, before I start, is check raise allowed? And cards are in the air. Not against me, but everybody Not against you, but check yeah. raise is like yeah. allowed. Okay. And kicking things off with a double straddle here tonight. From Crypto Drew. He's going to isolate the Jack-8 offsuit, and Zio will make the call. And an 8 in the window for Drew. Not a whole lot there for Zio.
Quarter pot bet. Zio's going to see another card. Drew's going to put in another small bet, and this one will take it down. He wins the first pot of the night. As we get started here tonight, I want to get a, a shout out to my friend Ken Kim, a hustler, regular. Entrepreneur, investor, mostly focused on crypto right now. Oh, nice. Who won 350K tournament at one of the casinos up the road just hours ago. So an open from Dan, two calls. Check. Pretty good flop for fives, but hard to realize three ways. Especially against somebody like Dan, who barrels so much. Drew's going to come along on the flop as well. Dan picks up a flush draw. Kind of a weird spot, because either of his opponents could pretty easily have a four. But he's going to barrel. And that gets the job done. Dylan, were you filming in like Joshua Tree or something? No, I was filming uh, Chatsworth and okay. uh, yeah, at a sound stage. So like at home. Yeah, in our, in our yeah it was literally in our backyard. It was perfect. Cool. Yeah, it's the best case scenario. Yeah, it's like 15 minute drive. Yeah, it was perfect. Of course, LA, it takes 40 to get yeah, yeah. there. Premium for Dylan. Action Dan loves the three bet. I think you could consider four betting this in this configuration against Dan, but Dylan calls. Dan flops the best of it. And does Dylan want to peel here out of position? Looked like he almost pitched his cards in there. He does make the call. And is rewarded with an ace on the turn. Only has about 2x pop behind. Not much reason for Dan to bet, I don't think. I guess he could bet here with a plan to check back the river. His hand is sort of in the middle now. Not really value, not really a bluff. Dylan's just going to shove here. Wow, and Dan makes the call. Twice. Did not expect that. I have an ace. Guess Dylan could have some combo draws here, but I think he's just going to have Dan beat the vast majority of the time. But Dan hits a five on the second run out. They're going to chop this up. So first run out goes to Dylan. Second one to Dan. No. First one. 
Pretty surprising turn action there. Could have been worse. Can always be worse. Oh, nasty river. What do you? We're you, still all in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you all in right now? I'm, I'm thinking about it. Right. Ladies for Drew. And what's Action Dan thinking, I <laughs> would not have been shocked to see a four bet there, but we do not. Thanks, Is this what base that he's starting with? Zio bumps it up, and no action for him. What's up, Pepe? Pepe! What up, what up? What up, Pep? Oh my god, I'm <clears throat> a position. Where's Pepe? What's up, man? Wait. Hello. Look. Wishing everybody good luck here tonight. Dan's got suited cards. Why not? Sandor with a three bet. Gets it through. Don't see Dan fold to very many three bets, but Sandor has the shortest stack. Let's get a look at Pepe here, music video producer. So your implied odds with a suited hand that isn't very good aren't really there. So we'll see if our graphics catch up to what's going on here. Dan, Dan, Dan. Don't play crazy, bro. Don't play crazy. Okay. So they no block, okay? okay? Looks like a raise from Drew. Call from Pepe. There we go. Race from Dan, excuse me. Couple of gut shots out there. Dan's got one. He's got the pre-flop initiative. Hey, what's up, Tom? How are you, buddy? Fuck yeah, okay. <clears throat> Three eights out there now. Dan with a straight flush draw. Was the preflop razor, so this is a card that he can make a lot of nice full houses on. Yeah, they put the hundred on. I begged him not to, but he bets and I begged Pepe and I surrenders. But uh, Ling Lin, retired nurse, joining us here. Huh? Seat eight. 20? 
clue. Hey. Patty. Are you thinking? It seems. Uh, they're Brian back in. And, and here's Tom. Brian. Oh, Brian, no. Poker mm -hmm. enthusiast from Dubai. He and Dan have been <laughs> linchpins of a bunch of action here on <laughs> HCL these past couple weeks. <laughs> Oh, is Pepper? Yes. It is. One and only. Is Pepper? Yeah. <laughs> Hello, bro. What's up? Yeah. Triple straddle here. He's waiting to attack. And an action flop. From the bushes. 11. 11. <laughs> Pepe picks up more outs to go with the flush draw he already had. How much you bet on the flap? 11 and the turn, you bet 4,000, right? 4,000. <laughs> A lot of available draws. Dan's really sticky. He's not going to give up just yet. Pepe with 35% heading to the river. But does not get there. A pair of sevens, not good enough. Four. And this is going to be an easy call for Dan. He's going to win a $21,000 pot. <laughs> uh, that works too. You can have you want to do it. Thanks. Going in cheating. Once again, she's coming in for 20. Still flying out tomorrow? Yes. It's a long flight home. Oh, yeah. 15 hours. Draw. I don't know if it was 26. You said 26? Race from Tom. Aces for Sandor. <laughs> Interesting spot to maybe just call with his chips here, I would say. Goes with the three bet, which obviously is also going to be fine. Does get some action here from Tom. And a good flop. For aces. I will wait a bit. You can watch in my <laughs> in about like a few hours I'll look a lot less cool than I feel right now. Yeah, on uh, Friday night, Saturday morning, I'll go till Tuesday. After stream? Yeah. Catch the last flight at, I think, like 11, uh, 10 40. Uh -huh. I'm have to leave like 15, 20 minutes before the stream ends. <laughs> Catch the flight. Why don't go by car? Hmm? Why don't go by car? Uh, it's, it's long, long drive. It's five hours, right? Race from Lingland here. Drew checks back an eight. Got a pretty good hand here to pick off some bluffs with. With, excuse me. And Drew just folds on the river. King, not a great card for him. Um, 
and you can have right? Okay. Yeah. I don't know how often that bluff from Ling Lin is going to be successful, but it does work that time. And you? LA. <laughs> Los Angeles. Four neon, probably die here. <laughs> not convenient. The, not the worst case, bro. Yeah, convenient, you know. <laughs> I didn't have to move around much. <laughs> to live and die in LA, starring my wife and my child. Sandor. Race from Zio. Most of it's pretty safe, right? Uh, in the it's in, in, in here, one caller. In the picture, it's like uh, there are some air attacks, but it's like, pretty, like it, it's more safer than it was in the beginning, so it's more safer now. That's good. But uh, it's still like under under yeah. pressure, under yeah. pressure, under attack, yes. And it's also more like also a psychological attack. Yeah. Because everybody is waiting like, for something that right. it's not ending. So. Right. Both players like hoping their ace is good here. I see how they change like their mind, they they are more successful. Of course, every day you wake up, it might be a bad day. It's a hard hard way to live. Just a call from Pepe on the button. Oh no, there's a three bet. It's a very small one, I guess. I assumed he was just calling when he put out one chip. Tiny, tiny three bet. Two callers. Check. Ten's still good. And Pepe. Probably not thrilled about those tens, but he see bets and takes it down. I'm most likely will go home. I'll be back in a couple weeks or something. I feel that he'll be back. Yeah. I feel that he didn't tell you last four in a way. Do you always wear black too? I always wear black. Do you always wear black? I always wear black. It's a good color. Warren, do you always wear black? Three hundred. That's true. I never see you wear anything yeah. other than black. Yeah. I play with you too. You too. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good color, <laughs> right? Yeah. Do you also wear it for the same reasons I do? Huh? To intimidate people? What is it doing to scare them? Ah, yeah. No, no, I just wear it because it's slimming. That's actually the truth. Yeah, by the way, yes. By the way, yes. I saw on the stream that, wow. Trust me, if you want to slim down on a camera, black. So, uh, Men in Black, like, you know starring Sandor, Zio, and Tom. I know a few. <laughs> I know a few. Am I playing it right? Yeah, you are. <laughs> 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 you can straddle from there. Any position except the button. Huh? Any position except the button. Yeah, yeah, but it's not even, dealing is in between. Is there any position yeah, besides the button? This is the only oh, place you cannot okay. straddle. Once again, there's a third straddle. Fuck. Can I take back? Thank you, Lee. Too late now. Put it in there. Aces, 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 aces. Shit, I thought I could have aces. Yeah, look, look first before you. You, know. you gotta look on your angles, okay? Here, don't worry. I'll help you. <laughs> Race from Dan and see if Pepe wants to defend. Ooh. He's not thinking about defense at all. 
Yeah. Let's play some offense. Five, four. 5,400. Dan hates to fold. Can he find a way to put some more money in here with Ace-4 offsuit? Yes. 11,000 already in there. And a four for Dan. Kings still good. Dan's going to raise. Seven, five. Teeny tiny raise. Wants to clear out. I think he wants to clear out some of Pepe's high card hands here. Although a lot of Pepe's high card hands will have an ace in them. And those are hands that Dan wants to continue because if the ace is on, if there's an ace on, on the turn, Dan makes a ton of money against those hands. <coughs> Does protect his pair of fours by raising here. But I think overall Pepe's range is just too strong. Pepe reaching for a bunch of 5Ks there, but looks like he's just going to call. Or maybe not. Oh, yeah. There's the three bet. And I think this is kind of just letting Dan off the hook a little bit. Although Dan probably would call if he had something like pocket jacks. Certainly he'd call with a flush draw. And from our perspective, this looks like a pretty straightforward fold, but whenever fold is the obvious option, Dan is trying to find a way to not do that. Some creative way to hang around. He jams, wow. That certainly is creative. Some might say a little bit spewy. Well, you can choose. Four-bet jamming the flop in a three-bet pot with middle pair. 128,000 in there. You got it? No, he doesn't have it. He's got a pair of fours. And Pepe didn't need a set. No. No clubs? He wins the first run out. Oh, yeah, straight. Dan needs an ace or a four on the river here. Uh, Doesn't find one. Set. And Pepe is going to stack Dan. 128K. Come on, yeah. I'm going to take just leave these, okay? I'm a pot that maybe pushes. didn't need to happen, but happen it does. Thank you, Lily. It's too late. You said too late. So I'm okay, too late. I still my shuttle. <laughs> <laughs> Action Dan. <laughs> Living up to that nickname. Tip, not kid. Early on here tonight. Guy chucks in a random straddle from a random position against Kings. I know. This is yeah. investigation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not real hand. That wasn't real Come hand. on. Be like, it's in. Oh, it's all the place. I established that at the beginning. I don't see my card. I take my money back. And Lily said, OK. I don't look my card. I don't look my card. My card is in the front. 35. 
We gotta go back to the tape. We gotta do slow motion. See if we Ryan look at the cards. Ryan the first. king's button under the table. I'm bluffing. He called me. I'm bluffing every time. How do you use this random no, strata no and get kings? Oh. Yeah, right? How much more? Can you call Nick? Huh? Can you call Nick? Yeah, Nick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sign line before. 30, 34, 35. Lauren doing some accounting here. Looks like it's pocket rock time. And this is my one. He's going to keep that and pay you in red. 20. Again, 20. And let's get a look at our. Updated leaderboard, Pepe, already up $54,000. He's only been here for about 15 minutes. Action Dan stuck 51. Pepe, how many footballs you I don't know. No bluff today, Tom, okay? Take it easy. Crazy, I, for sure I will do this, but maybe not today, but... Not today. No blow today. I, I mean, think raising... Coming, well, first of all, calling pre-flop from Dan's perspective. And raising <laughs> flop are already both pretty... No walking, okay? <laughs> pretty crazy. <laughs> A lot of times when you do something crazy on one street, you want to kind of compensate by doing something not crazy on the I'm next street. And I think when Pepe... Puts in the three bet, you gotta pull the cord. No. Get out of there. The casino like smoke here, bro. Only babe. Race from Sandor. Hold him? No. Oh. Sandor sitting with 10K, perfectly fine stack in a 25 50 game, but when this many straddles are on. He is sitting pretty short. Check. Seven for Dan. Big draw for Drew. And Dan just leads at this. Sandor wisely out of the way. And interesting spot here for Drew because Dan has shown that he is not going to fold. So your, your fold equity with a big draw like this against a player like Dan is very limited. It's annoying to call down with four high and just lose, though. <laughs> Another barrel from Dan. And Drew's going to go looking for a five or a heart. Does not find one. He's got the nut low. Dan's got a third pair. That's a hand that a lot of people would check back with, but he's going to keep firing. Drew has not snap folded. But he lets it go. The temptation is so great to, to raise and try to play for a lot of money, but the idea of such a play is that in addition to the equity your hand provides, you also get fold equity. And if you're playing against somebody who doesn't really fold, that second part is pretty tricky. Ling Lin limping the button, and Dylan wakes up with tens. Get away from me, man. <laughs> Very small raise. You generally want to go bigger out of position. Hi, oh. Ling Lin. Hurry up, Pepe. What's going on? Hi, me. I don't like it. I'd rather you go take a walk now. Too slow. 
Pepe folds the pocket fives. Maybe Pepe is going to take a walk. Huh. Pepe just folded the fives. Doesn't matter. Dylan with by far the best hand, whether Pepe had been in there or not. <laughs> Ling Lin, thinking about getting out of line, but you got all kinds of better hands to do that with. Investigation, investigation. You never lose, do you? I should be asking you the same thing. Sure. <laughs> nice hand, brother. Nice um, <laughs> You full pocket queens for me? Yeah. I appreciate you. <laughs> Bad fold. <laughs> Pepe with, with what was a tight fold, but not that tight. Raise it up. 1,000. Oh, you got a hand this time? Fold. Yeah, this time, yeah. And Pepe is going to continue this time. Yeah. Tom comes along as well. And the check mark on the flop for Pepe. He's going to slow play it. Dylan has the nine of diamonds. Ah. Okay. Okay. Five. <laughs> Check. Not check. I say five five. Oh my <coughs> god. You know, river, I like river. 18. I like river. And a small bet from Pepe. Thank you, Laura, for the pie. And I think the sizing is pretty good against someone like that. Dylan who can find some Seven. folds here. Three. Flash. <laughs> Everything. Ah, Queen High Diamond! Ah, <laughs> Queen High Diamond! Keep bro. eating my ass. God damn it. <laughs> Horrible this call. This is good, Pepe. You run well at the beginning, you're going to lose by the end, so. <laughs> no, he's going to take all the walks. <laughs> <laughs> you need a handcuff. Cuff. Oh my god. Handcuff him on oh, the table. Oh, to the I table. Just for some limp pots. <laughs> see if, see if my cards match the board. It happens. This is getting real. Hey, it's fun in the match. Only I play the match. Please don't block me, okay? Yeah, you're no fun anymore. Not today, not today. Not today. Nuts, just fall. It's 500. You remember the last time, Tom? Don't block me. <laughs> That's why I need to do it. Five. <laughs> so Zio opens. Right. It's four callers. The nut flush draw for Pepe. Top pair for Dylan and Tom. Pepe is just going to lead here. Middle pair for Dan. I'm just going to raise. Interesting. Might get Dylan out of the way here. I'm sure that's not really Tom's intention, but it is potentially a nice byproduct of what he's doing. Dylan, very cautious player, gets out of the way. Pepe jams. No 5,000, right? Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, you already said all in. Puts Tom in a tough spot. There are lots of draws out there, but Pepe, when he does something like this, generally has something. And if he's got any kind of made hand, Tom's in trouble. Tom gets out of the way, so Pepe plays his flush draw super fast. 
and picks up $5,600. Thirty-four hundred of you watching here tonight. Do us a favor. Tap that like button. Help us bring our poker streams to the masses. Better. Better than Did you hit that king's button? Ace's button. Ooh. I'll take queen. So I'll be. Straddle and a re-straddle action is going to start with Dylan. Oh, it put that pressure on me. Five. Race from Dylan. Tom just calls. And Drew. Defense. Six. Small C bet. And Tom's going to raise. 14. Tiny, tiny raise. Get some protection. Dylan continues facing this very small sizing. Picks up a gutter. Another barrel from Tom. Dylan in no man's land here. Might be wondering if Tom would have used the size he did on the flop if he had trips. Take it. I but so. understandable, of course, that Dylan would let it go. Like you. Look at chips. Hmm? Look at chips. <laughs> Very generous. <laughs> Pepe. So Pepe's sweatshirt is from his own clothing line, which you can find at nopokerandnolife.net. He's bro. giving away at least, at least $2,000 today because, or excuse me, on Friday, because he won last week and potentially 2000 more if he wins today. So if you want to be entered to win that money, you can follow, like, and comment on, all. you have to do all three, I believe, on Pepe's Instagram or you're entered free if you buy a hoodie. Giveaway will be on Friday, and Pepe's Instagram is Pepe underscore Latino underscore official with, uh, like, official, but spelled with one F. I have a six. Nice call. Never fall, right? Fine. Too much bluff. You call me. <laughs> Probably gonna call. No more.
Praise from Action Band. Drew in there. And bottom pair for Dan. And what's Drew up to? That's a raise. 2100. And again, Dan does not fold. So Drew relying on some back doors on the flop, but none of them crack open on the turn. Three, six, four, six. Four, six. That's not gonna stop him though. And does get Dan to fold. Achievement unlocked. <laughs> that is face. not easy to do. All the way from Toronto to pull this shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, it's been real. It's been nice meeting you. No, no. Uh, okay, I'm okay with this. It's up to everybody. <laughs> the game today. Yeah, it's just like I, I call super light okay. too. Doesn't, 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 doesn't slow him down. <laughs> no equity pick up on the turn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Some real hands out there. Ace king and ace queen. There's a four bet. And Tom probably just gonna rip it in here. Ling Lin does not have a ton behind. He actually just calls. Surprises me a little. Ling Lin has not a ton of chips. And They'll surely all go in here. The nut flush draw for Tom and Ling Lin with top pair. Four thousand four. Tom played this rather slow pre-flop. He's just gonna jam. Once or twice. Twice. And okay. basically a flip now. They'll run it twice. Nothing there for Tom on the first run up. So this is you. Flush draw. Oh, and fuck. misses on the second run out as oh, well. So, oh my god, I got lucky. Sorry. Oh. How much? 39,000. Heading over to Lingland. 12, 12, no, no, no. 11, 13. That's 12. 13. Yeah. 12, this is 13. Yeah, 13, 250. Did you have ace kind of clubs? Mm hmm? 13, uh, can I get from. Uh, you can pull that back. 13, oh. 250. Oh, so, fuck, sorry, bro. I just played your chip. Yes. Thank you. Does, does he have 13? Oh, he oh. does. He has yeah. 13. 150? 250. Okay, top up for me. Okay, Three. 
Raise from Dan, and this hand for Dan is like aces plus. Couple calls. Okay. All right. And middle pair for Drew. Gut shots for both Drew and Dan. Flush draw for okay. Dan as well, and that's a straight flush. Nobody has a whole lot to pay him off. Ling Lim with the five of spades. Still feels pretty nifty to make a straight flush though. Drew's got two pair that has him drawing completely dead. Pepe away from the table. Three. And why not? Dan puts in the three bet. And this time it'll just get through. Spin and win with a new out of this world feature on WPT Global. Global spins give you the chance to invest a little and win galaxy sized prizes. To celebrate the launch, WPT Global is giving away over $18,000 every week. Get in on the action by using the code HUSTLER and get our welcome package with deposit match and a chance to win global spins tickets. That's right. WPT Global will match your deposit with a first time bonus. Sign up now for the welcome package at WPTglobal.com using code HUSTLER. Yep. Six on Doe. Ling Lin with the open. Twenty three hundred. Rebet from Drew. Lingland makes the call. And a very nice flop for Drew. He's going to check out a position. Lingland has some showdown value, checks back. And Drew's going to fire the turn now. Bump it up. Ten large. 
This does not make a ton of sense. This raise from Linglin. But she could play some 9x this way sometimes. Drew agrees this does not make sense and Bitcoin's near its all-time high. He decides to gamble. And Linglin does not have a whole lot. Let's it go. I don't think there's any safe places for money here. Six on the Race from Lingwen. Couple calls. Open ender for both Lingwen and Tom. Flush draw for Pepe. So a bet from Lingland, both her opponents call. Brick on the turn. Two spades out there now. And who wants this the most? checks back and complete brick for everybody this checks through Tom and Lingland will chop this up check check who wins and everybody gives up Jack high. Jack and high Tom and Lingland <laughs> will each get half this pot See how nice that I am to you? Open, and I did a nine and a half. Fuck. Actually, Pep is nice. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even be the jack guy, he checks. <laughs> I did a nine and a half. Nine of hearts? Oh, nine yeah, flush show. Flush show, huh? Or eight of hearts. Oh, I spent Tom's money. Pepe had the nine of hearts, of so course. Quick. So quick. I really so quick. Yeah, 10,000. He didn't form your soul. I thought just he was bullshitting, so I just raised him. All right, shout out 200. Why did you re raise me? I had nothing. Laura had nothing. I had a good hand. Yeah, but I had nothing. You re raised me. I can't call. <laughs> you could have just called and I go only on the river. Maybe I didn't want you to call. How? You had a good hand, you would have wanted me to call. Travel over here, 200. Oh. Wait, 1100. 3300. And Sandor with the aces for the second time tonight. And usually I don't love putting in. A three bet for a third of your stack. But Action Dan is not the kind of person who worries about such things. He makes the call. Heads up. Setting up a stack to pot ratio of about one. Check. 
And in Sandor's spot, I think checking or going really small are both pretty good. That might be a little bit too big. You want to bet really small because you don't have a lot behind. You've got an aggressive opponent. Hopefully you can induce him to call light or do something crazy. I think when you're pretty short with a hand like aces, you want a lot of action. So best to build your strategy in order to induce as much action as possible. There's always time to stick the money in later well, when straddle. stacks are not deep. I stood all the time. Even oh, last yeah. Friday, you don't, you didn't pay oh, attention. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I don't like, I don't like people to tell me the straddle. <laughs> yeah. Do you shoot around the straddle? No. <laughs> <laughs> straddle coercion, 500. Zio opens. Dan makes the call and I think, I think flops a boat. <laughs> He's going to check again, hope that Zio has that ace or represents it. I didn't want to say anything. And unfortunately for Dan, Zio just doesn't have a whole lot. He checks three times with the boat. God, I escaped. I had nine, nine five. Are you really? Yeah, I'm, I'll straddle only three hundred more. But, but it was off suit, so I didn't. I didn't play. Only because he has queen high. <laughs> All the big ones. I'm standing in trouble. When you lose, you lose big. When you win. <laughs> <laughs> you should change something. <laughs> you play very aggressive, you have set, you have full house. <laughs> what the fuck? Four? Four hundred. It's a four, what? 1300. <laughs> Every time, right? Free bet from Dan. Heads up. Happy makes on, the Tom. call. And Dan is going to win this hand. 104. I promise. No, you bad boy. I promise. Bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal room floor here at Hustler. It's got high stakes PLO going on in the foreground black there. Mm -hmm. Everyone I know from Ukraine drinks black tea. Yeah, really? Yeah. Means for Tom, he just calls. And Sandor, three bets. And that is unlikely to work out well for him. Tom sneaking around with these queens. All in. And now he's going to shove. All you can eat. Sandor out of the way. Oh, sneaky. I'm ready for you. <laughs> Wait for me. I didn't have ace queen. I can't. That was really, like, disappointing. When I got through Dylan, I was like, 
Nice. <laughs> yes. <laughs> then, I, then when Tom's one chip went in, I was like, okay, I'm going to call. But then I heard all in. I was like, oh, shit. I should have angled you and been like, no, that's a call. <laughs> See no, no, I told no. before. <laughs> <laughs> Big slick for Pepe. And Lingland again with ace queen. She ran ace queen to ace king suited earlier and ended up chopping, or excuse me, ended up winning the pot after flopping Wake a queen. Up, Pepe. Hmm? <laughs> Dude, Dr. Rao will get your heart out. Don't worry. Pepe just makes the call. Check, check on the flop. And a diamond on the turn. Both players with a diamond. Lingland takes a stab at it. Pepe makes the call. And Ace King is good. Feels like a spot where Check. Ling Lin's not going to get a lot of folds. Check. So she checks. And Pepe just gives up, but he's going to win this one. What? Nice hand. Such a nit. You just flam with the Ace King. Free flop. <laughs> everyone's trapping Ling Lin with Ace King. I know, everyone's. Ace King is now trapping him. It's a drawing hand. No, you don't have anything. Mm -hmm. That's a double straddle, Dan, triple straddle. 200. 400 is on. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh. Two. I would take both. Oh, I'm glad no ace and no diamond. <laughs> I did. And I did. My family call you from okay? <laughs> <laughs> 400 is on. You take four? I think four. Yeah, I take that. Oh, I take four. Fucking so hot, bro. Charm? Nothing. So a four hundred dollars straddles on Dylan more, calls Pepe calls and Dan bumps it up. Both players call. And a 10 for Dan. Double gutter for Pepe. Gutter for Dylan. Dan bets it. Pepe makes the call. Heads up. And that is a straight for Pepe. Check. Dan likes to bet in these spots. A lot of players Three would just down. check back. Now that their pair of tens has been downgraded, but Dan is usually keen to keep firing. Eight. Eight Small raise here from Pepe. And now what do you do? Well, you call, I guess. 26,000 in the middle. And 
And an eight on the river means they're actually going to chop this up if it goes to showdown. Come on, in. All in. 200. All in. Pepe jams. And Dan only loses to King Queen here, which Pepe definitely could have, but I think he's going to be making this call. He does, and they're going to split this up. Dan gets oh, lucky man, on the river. river. <laughs> ah, ah, no bluff, buddy. Come on, magic fuck. <laughs> $104,000 pot. It's going to get chopped up. Pepe turns a straight, but Dan rivers the same straight. Don't worry, you'll have another chance. All right. Pepe it's just staring at Dan. Pepe. Hey. You it's played not, Queen A all suit, like Pepe. Pepe. Just hold it, no bakara. I don't need an eight or a river. Yeah. You just need a hand No panda, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, dude. I don't need an eight. I need a panda. It's poker with any card, no eight. Mm, all right, straddle. Maybe queen. You're 100, Pepe. Oh, king. Oh, king. Same. King. King. 200 is on. Lucky river. Hmm? Lucky river. Very lucky river, yeah. Mm. 500. Queens here for Drew. 18 hundo. And Sandor gets out of the way. <laughs> Somehow he got tilted, not losing. Did you ever get tilted over a chop? Huh? Do you, do you get tilted over a chop? Of course. No. I don't think no. 45 for Dan. If you were way ahead and ended up chopping, that's a terrible result. I said call. We bet from Drew. I bet cold calls. Tom, relax, Tom. Hmm? Relax, bro. 44 hundo. And Tom, it's in the four bet. Nicely timed here. He does have the best hand. Easy money. Blind call. Dan raises, Tom calls. Not much there for Tom. Does have some backdoor straight possibilities though. And Dan picks up a flush draw. And if you're gonna get here with 10 high, guess you got a bluff. And 
and East High is still good. Kaselin saying Tom is a Luka Doncic lookalike. Where is it? 500. I can see it a little bit. Raised from Zio. Huge three bet from, not a huge three bet, but a three bet from Dan. Zio calls in position. And a 10 in the window. Dan with just 5% equity. Small bet from Zio and Dan just gets out of the way. Zio, a man of few words. No visible reaction. Upon failing to get action with his set. First time on Wednesday. from Drew. Pepe calls in the cutoff. Tom with the bluff aces. Drew makes the call. Enough flush draw for Drew. Absolutely nothing for Tom. Bet the call. And Bink. The nuts for Drew. Certainly understandable that Drew would bet here. There's a lot to get value from, but none from Ace Five suited. Ace Five of clubs, anyway. Sorry. Are you having fun? Huh? You having fun? Yeah. Thank you. You have an else? You have an else? 
You were a nurse. He's, he's yeah, yeah. Uh, you were a nurse. No. You retired? Yeah. You finished? You retired? You retired. You're old. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. Uh. <laughs> After this game, you've got to repair me. You've got to patch me up. Which <laughs> way? So raise for Dylan. Crypto Drew with the same hand. I think this plays pretty well as a call against Dylan in particular, but Drew's going to free bet. How much he? 2,700. All in. All in. Hey. Dylan jams. How much is it? How much is it? It's about 11 or 12. And Drew's got himself in a spot here. Dylan tends not to be messing around in spots like this. Eleven. Twelve thousand seventy-five. Call. He makes the call. Once, you said? Twice. Right, it's up to you. It's up to you. Right, go I always let somebody else do it. Twice. Right, Run it time. twice, see if we can find some hearts or clubs. I don't have a great hand, but I'm not, I'm not holding too great of a hand either. Well, Drew with a shot. Me too. These ten of clubs. Fuck. Really? <laughs> Bad first run out for Drew. Oh, yeah. Wastes first a couple clubs. Oh my god. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and, wow. and two more clubs on the first second run out. <laughs> See how many clubs are in this deck? Oh. Not enough, and Drew and Dylan are gonna chop this up. <laughs> That's a good board intuition. No, 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 no. No, it's you know, it's kind of yeah, it's yeah. a little you know. Like three weeks ago, four weeks ago, fuck it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> too much, too much last week. two weeks ago. Oh yeah, I mean you could see it through my sweatshirt last week. God damn. Chad Dellen gifting five chat memberships. Thank you, Chad. Did you a Kobe chip? Yeah. I've never seen one. You made me feel like you had worse than Ace 10. <laughs> when you said that, I didn't have a great hand. I'm like, oh, I thought you did. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the shove is usually. I was surprised Ace 10. I thought when I hit the 10 on the river, for sure you'd. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the same thing. <laughs> 300. Race from Dan. Sandor calls on the button. Three bet from Ling Lin and Sandor. Not really deep enough to call. <laughs> Alright, that's good. It's fine. Yeah. Five is good. Three hundred. And ace king for Linglin. And Dan declines to fold. Ooh, two pair for Dan. 
top pair, top kicker for Lingland. This could get messy. Bet from Lingland and a call. Check. Lingland keeps betting. She's got a pretty chunky percentage of her stack in now. There are a lot of river cards that kill Dan's action, so he just moves in. And Dan really can be messing around in this spot. There are a bunch of draws he can have and you never really know what Dan's up to. I would think that this would be a call with Ace King even though we see that Ling Lin is behind. Call. She does make right. the call. Whatever she likes. Twice is fun. 46,000 in there. Ling Lin needs an ace, king, or eight. Nothing there on the first run out. Nothing there on the second one either. And action Dan is going to stack Ling Lin. Top pair against bottom two in a three bet pot, and that'll do it. Can I have five? Mm -hmm. yep. This is 500, right, Magic? Yeah. So Pepe, the big winner so far, up 63 grand. Yeah. Crypto Drew up 15. Several players stuck around 20K or more. Ling Lin, Tom, and Action Dan, despite Dan having just won that big pot against Lingwin. Right? So keep in mind that Pepe is going to be potentially giving away some more money tonight. Yeah, I like it If he wins. It's nice when you hit two pairs. Any position. Any position, six nine. The occasion for that is Pepe's clothing line, no life, excuse me, no poker, no life, which is at nopokernolife.net. He's giving away at least $2,000 because he won last week. Potentially $2,000 more if he wins this week. So go to Pepe's Instagram, which is at Pepe underscore Latino underscore official with one F. And follow it, like and comment on it, or buy a hoodie. And you'll be entered into that drawing, which is going to take place on Friday. Time to start on uh, Thursday. Thursday. Uh, Night time, right? Seven, eight, huh? eight. Eight. Seven is good. Right. Hopefully, you come for the party yet. You yeah, yeah. do a bit of play, bro.
No pair here for anybody. All right, check, check. Tom picks up a draw. This is the view from high above Hustler Casino here in Gardena. In the southern region of LA. Looking out toward the ocean. It feels dirty. It doesn't feel good to do that. Option. I don't understand what to do. I know. It feels dirty. From which side is that? A limp from Zio. <laughs> 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 He's going to He's gonna limp raise. I've not seen a ton of limping today. as to what Zio might be up to. Normally, if you see a limp re-raise in your local 1-3 game, that means aces are kings or ace king. Sleeper but when a good player like Zio does it, all bets are off. Drew puts in another raise and takes it down. <laughs> All right, Lawrence, uh, good luck. Thank you, everyone. Uh, well, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't see that it was on the, on the button. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, even more reason to do it, bro. No, I don't want him out of position. He's uh, a maniac. You have any, too. Tired of sitting down at a poker table filled with pros? Then come the WPT Global, the online home of the World Poker Tour. With a maximum of two pros at each table, everyone has a chance to win. We are leveling the playing field at WPT Global. Sign up today with this QR code or go to WPTGlobal.com slash hustler and use bonus code YT93 and we'll match your first deposit dollar for dollar. That's right, WPT Global will match your deposit with a first time bonus. Sign up now for the welcome package at WPTGlobal.com using code YT93. Don't be the guy smashing his computer with a baseball bat. Be the guy with the cool beard pumping his fists in front of a library. WPTGlobal.com. Rockets for Pepe. And top set now. Three hearts on the turn after Pepe checks back. And enough slow playing, time to put some money in. Fuck. Pepe does not get any further action from Crypto Drew. No, Jack. Wow. Shit. I have the button. No, eight shuttle. Okay. Okay, of course, thank you. Investigation. What a What's body, fool? <laughs> okay, it's investigation, man. <laughs> oh my god, bro. Wow. Come on, dude. You're aggressive player, bro. Now you pull the check, bro. Come on, bro. Ah, yeah. I need a Tomo down in my hand, bro. Oh my god. The raise was suspiciously small. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm straddling. Uh, 
Pepe with another strong hand. <clears throat> Couple calls. And the six in the window for both Ling Lin and Dan, but Pepe with the king of spades. Dan with two pair, excuse me. Not just a six. Ten as well. Pepe picks up more outs. Dan firing hard. Aye. We see Pepe, Pepe's doing pretty well against Dan's mm. hand, but this can be a pretty dicey spot if Dan somehow has a six of spades already. Pepe would be drawing dead. I do think that mm -hmm. Dan with three bet most suited aces though. Pepe does get out of the way. All in? Do it, do it. No all in this time, eh? No, no, no all in. I need to practice my all in. <laughs> I'm all in. <laughs> I, I got space most of Uh, the 100 is a part of the blind drawing. Oh, he's missing a bar. Three. Fifteen. Sandor with the three bet. Lingland. Cold calls. And a flush draw for Lingland. Ace high board, Sandor with the C bet. And can Lingland find a, a way to take this pot? She certainly could if she knew Sandor's hand. She is going to go for it anyway, though, despite the fact that Sandor can have a ton of ace X here. And this time she's right. <laughs> and takes it down. Tom bumps it up. Sandor, I think every hand he's played has been a three bet. Almost every hand he's played has been a three bet with something very strong or King 10 off. Here in Hungary and Ukraine has a border. Yeah. It's all love, don't no worry, it's not love. It's just the cards. It's all love. Tom originally from Ukraine. No bluff. Sandor's family from Hungary. There was no bluff here, I had a good hand. But I think Ling Ling had a better one. Don't make me laugh, I have a towel. <laughs> Oh, 
Free raise from Sandor. <laughs> this time I... I shall. 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 <laughs> That's good, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's the best hand. Yeah, it yeah. looks like you have it. Yeah. <laughs> 4,700 of you watching now. Make sure to bink that like button for us. Helps the channel out. Couple of J boys for Pepe. And Queens for Tom. Cooler in progress. Yeah, 5,000? Um, total 25. Okay, gamble. Oh, yeah. And Pepe just jams. Twice? Quick call. Twice? Tom in Twice good it. shape. Yes. Um, you? Uh, no. $49,000 yeah, pot. You? Big, bigger. Bigger. Come on, dude. Hey, you win, you win, buddy. Loose. Oh, you win. Wait, <laughs> wait. <laughs> <laughs> still, 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 still some cards to come. Nothing there for no, you Pepe. Win. Tom's going to win the first run out. Pepe, true to his word. And can Pepe find a jack or a four to chop the bottom board? No, so Tom's going to get the double up with pocket queens against Pepe's jacks. Serious investigations here. <laughs> the straddle. <laughs> the straddles. Kings, aces, queens. I understood, I understood the process. <laughs> I just need to make. A little bit bigger than our graphic indicated, 51,000. So Pepe, still the big winner despite that hit, up 36K. Crypto Drew also up. Action Dan stuck 24. And Linglin down almost 18,000. calls. Pepe's trays are the best so far. <laughs> but Lingland sea bets. Firing and eight high takes this one down. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> it's getting weird, man. <laughs> oh my god. I, no, think, no, no. I think you can. I, I, no, no, I, I, I will not do it. You cannot? You can. No, you can. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how weird can this game get? I want to break the mic. Our deuce is wild now, too. So you were started if I put start the struggle, so now you're expert. Oh, yeah. <laughs> CEO raises one caller. And nothing there for Pepe, but he's gonna. It sounded like he called, but no. Easy one for Zio. International man of mystery. Hard draw for Pepe, not a lot for anybody else. <coughs> Easy game. I know. <laughs> Open from Lingwin. And Crypto Drew is dominated. He puts in the three bet. Jack for the retired nurse. Not a lot going on for Start ahead with 22,000, I think. Crypto Drew. Start ahead with 22. Good place to live. Yeah, I think Dubai is pretty safe. When you're in some wall, you can uh, leave like, your keys on the car. Oh, yeah. Just, yeah, I think the captain will go away for half an hour. His hand is a mean coin that has already had the rug pulled. You can leave a Ferrari with the keys on it, and no one will take it there. Oh! Yeah. I, I didn't try, but I think if you lose your money, I right. think you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Lingland <laughs> might be going for a race here. Nine thousand. I think that's mostly just going to stop Crypto Drew from bluffing and have her in trouble when Drew has okay. aces through queens. Are you getting spicy? Yeah. Can you try to find yeah. your way to it? Find your way to it. Can't help it. Okay. 
Yeah. I want to do this also. Uh, Welcome. <laughs> it, it helps me, thank you. Kind of. I mean, not really. Actually, I don't know. This is confusing. Action is going to start over here now. It sure is. <laughs> what if I go 800 here? Can I go 800? Actually. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's awesome. No, no, no. 1400. <laughs> Race from Drew, Tom makes the call. And a king for Crypto Drew. Cool. Drew with the check mark. 15. 15. I'll make sure I move the button. I think I'm sorry. <laughs> this is a rather large table. Mm. Okay. It's so dramatic, too. Like, especially if you're on the end. Mm. If, like, you're staring yeah. at that person, it's, like, very, very sure. intense. Shout out to 20 on 5 for becoming a chat pro member. Pair for Pepe. Gutters for Drew and Dylan. Now trips for Pepe. Oh. Min raise from Pepe. I think this kind of sends up a flare that you have a strong hand without getting that much additional value. Three hearts out there now. Probably it's academic. I don't know if Drew is going to be wanting to pay this off. Until one day I said, ah, this, no limit. I said, what is this? This is too much fun. Even, <laughs> even though I lost, I said, okay, I'm no, no more limit for me. I still like limit. Mm -hmm. I still find it fun. I played in that yeah. one, but in, in the casino, mm -hmm. it, in us, uh, it's not, not limit, 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 limit for them. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I would like to have some 20 yeah. minutes, and then yeah. it was 6 a.m. <laughs> so <laughs> it was some fun for sure. The heads up limit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that one. I like the heads up, the heads up machine. The machine is so... <laughs> yes. This is so crazy. So crazy. Jeremy face. So the heads up limit machine is brutal. Yeah, but they took it all. They took that. Did they take it out? Yeah, I don't see any. Just a call from Crypto Drew. Dylan sneaking around with a good hand as well. Luckily, they have Dan behind them. And is Drew thinking about the limp re-raise? Yes. It's really small. Which is perfect for, for Dan's exact hand. To target Dan's exact hand. 12, three. Oh boy. Four bet from Dan. All in. All of it. 
And a jam from Crypto Drew. And Dan's got himself in trouble again. Quick fold. And Drew picks up almost $13,000 without a showdown. Three bet from Dan. Drew makes the call. And finds an ace. And I like this check back from Drew. Your hand can't take a ton of heat. And you don't mind inducing some bluffs if no money gets in on the flop. Check, check on the turn as well. And a bet definitely should go in here. And there it is. Chunky one from Dan. A snap call from Drew. And Drew... Gets the better of Dan once again. Is that Robocop wearing a dress? On Dan's shirt, oh or excuse me, on Drew's shirt. If you'd have told me, I wouldn't have done it. I'm gonna restrain all every time. I'm kidding. I don't know this Aerosmith iconography. I'm kidding. I don't know this. <laughs> Dylan wins a small one. Dylan's whole life is that easy. <laughs> works, works one week of month. I would. I would. <laughs> Just raises two straddles and everyone folds. Sick life. Sick life. Sick life. Action's going to start over here. Oh, you were gone, Pepe. <laughs> Race. Ace Jack against King Jack. Seven five offsuit in there as well. But an ace for Tom. Now eight's full. Tom hoping to induce a bluff here, and he does. And 
does. Yeah, Ling Ling checks it back. Feels like a spot where a, a boat's not folding. And if Dylan, do you have like your opponent doesn't have a boat, maybe King Jack could be good somehow. I mean, I, I definitely have one side that's better than the other. Oh, yeah? Yeah, probably. Do you uh, ask him to try to shoot you no, on that side no, and stuff? No, no, no. I try to let all that go. You know what I mean? Like, that's kind of the goal. Johnny Drama? A little bit. I've worked with uh, Kevin Miller. You were in Kevin Dillard? Yeah, yeah. A uh, movie called Hot Seat. Hot Seat? Yeah. That's the seat I'm in right now. He's a nice, he's a really nice guy. Easy life on Sandor. So easy. <laughs> the life of Sandor. Wake up, get aces. Yeah. <laughs> Have you really? Aces? That was aces? Why so big? That one wasn't aces. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it was still good. It was still good. <laughs> Dylan gets three callers. Bottom set for Sandor. Dylan with top pair. Sandor just leads. Drew makes the call. Oh boy, and Dylan raises it up. Sandor's lead. Has Dylan confused maybe, and I think that if you jam here, you get a lot of stuff to fold. Sandor does jam though. Can I get a count? There is a bunch of stuff that can call too. Sandor, why? And you sort of could see Sandor jamming something like 7 6 suited or something here. Sandor might get paid despite how strong his line looks. 9,625. 9, that's, that's if I take that back, it would be 9,000, right? Yeah, total. Yeah, total. How many times do you want to run it? Twice. And Twice. Dylan does make the call. Sandor Twice. way ahead. Oh, okay. I, I have a set. Do you have a set? $21,000 pod. And first run out goes to Sandor. And the second one will as well. So a full double up for Sandor. Can I get Flopping bottom set with pocket fives. Was that four? Makes sense. Nine what? I didn't expect a set. I was like, I know. It's like I was hoping I was hoping two pairs or something. Uh, it was like overpowered. Okay. I played it like a set. So oh, Pepe did. Did. and Drew up um, thirty thousand plus. Uh, Action Dan, the big loser so far, down forty-five thousand dollars. 
Oh, Ling Lin oh and goodness. Dylan also stuck five figures. Um, it's fine. I'll just wait. Appreciate that. Yeah. Was that yours? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I. It's a really good strategy. Uh -huh. Drew, steal your 25, like, the big action player so far, 47% of hands yeah, yeah, played, yeah. followed by Action Dan and Pepe, <laughs> all of whom are <laughs> Where'd it go? above 40%. The Somewhere 20 in my play. stack. Yeah, <laughs> the I played it like a set thing is a Tony G old school poker joke. You can you can Google Tony G. I played it like a set. It's a, a a very funny clip from way back in the first poker boom. Brace from Dan, and Drew wakes up with Ace King. He three bets and Dan makes the call. Finds a six. Check. Wesley Riddle says, amazing how much Tony G matured since then. Yeah, he feels like a totally different guy now. His years getting older and being in the public eye because of the Lithuanian political scene have probably done that to him. So Drew finds a king on the turn, but Dan makes a very weird two pair here on the river. Small bet from Drew, and here comes a raise from Dan. And it's going to be a big one. Really chunky raise puts <clears throat> Drew in a spot, 28,500. It's so easy to say that this That's a call. is not a bluff, but when you're playing with Dan, this is just a, a hazard of the job. Quick call from Drew, which Hard to fault him for, and Dan's going to win a 72K pot. Dan deserves action when he makes a weird hand like this. And action he gets. So Dan was down at the bottom of our leaderboard just moments ago, but he's going to rise up a fair amount there. It's really big. It's like there's not a lot of legroom. So Zio makes the call facing Dan's, or excuse me, Tom's open.
raise from Zio. Gets Tom to fold to King High. Pepe back to the table. Sandor opens. And Dan can't resist an opportunity to three bet. Sandor's going to make the call. Pepe as well. And pretty good flop for Sandor. Gutter to the nuts. And a backdoor flush draw as well. Check. Dan can be so wide. So it checks over to Sandor. I was going to suggest that maybe Sandor could just shove over a bet from Dan, but Dan does not fire. Neither does Sandor, so we're going to a turn. I wouldn't mind betting the flop in Sandor's spot. Just have nine high. But I can also understand not wanting to try to bluff Dan. Problem is when he fires the turn like this, that this is in a way less convincing. But on the other hand, you have more information about your opponent's holdings. It's unlikely that either of them have anything too strong. And Sandor's bluff does get through. So Sandor up to 25,000 now from a starting stack of, I believe, 10K. Have you ever wanted to advertise on the number one poker show in the world, Hustler Casino Live? Hustler Casino Live has 1.5 million unique viewers per month. HCL also has 1.4 million watched live hours per month. Our viewers are 95% male, and 72% of them are between 25 and 50 years old with an annual income over six figures, and they are very engaged. Our viewers are your customers. Let's build your brand and do some business. To learn more, visit us at hustlercasinolive.com slash sales. Shout out to all the ladies out there, women in the chat. Post a, post a one in the chat. Let us know you're here. Flush draw here for Tom. Dan with top pair. Does not improve. Can hit a 10 as well. Make a gut shot. Uh, 
10,000. Shout out to Software Tools, Wild West 2024. Right there today. Yeah. Alicia, the light's live. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. 132, Pepe. 132. Correct. Right. <laughs> 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 the same. The same. <laughs> <laughs> It's up to me. Pepe oh, yeah, Charles, putting Charles. a stack of 5K chips on the table. Copy. Already was quite deep. <laughs> Three bet from Sandor. Dylan makes the call. And very similar flop to the one we had moments ago when Sandor had nine native clubs. Now he's got queen jack and no back doors. Dylan does have some possibilities here. Makes the call and finds it eight on the turn. Check. Pretty terrible run out here for Queen Jack of Hearts and Sandor checks. Four large. Not much he can do, I don't think. Good bluff, Dylan. Thank you. No bluff. So yeah, Pepe adding on 100K. Shout out to Christian Soto in the chat. And holding down the commentary booth a bunch in the past oh, couple yeah, weeks. It's like on now. Alright, the 200 is on. Copy. That's on too, apparently. <laughs> 200 travel over here. Five. How much? Five. 500. It's a raise from Pepe. Too large. And a free bet from Zio. What? <laughs> Pepe just folds the ace jack. What? Play more hands. Play more hands. Play more hands. What? What? <laughs> Pepe had Zio dominated, and he's giving him a lecture about not giving enough action. Somehow they call me more than you, Zio. <laughs> But that's a bad sign for me. <laughs> if you fool, huh? Donkey. Donation. I still think my favorite is uh, Nico showing you kings. <laughs> and, then having, oh, yeah. and then you fold the queen. Yeah. Travel <laughs> there? 100. 500. <laughs> So Drew raises. Dan calls the button. I will come back tomorrow. 
Tom with a three bet, and Sandor wakes up with jacks. <laughs> How does he want to play these? This is tricky. He's got 20K behind. Could he just jam here? Looks like he's going to go for a small four bet. I don't really understand the sizing. He's really committing himself. You might as well just put your chips in. It depends. It depends. There are, there are some big games. Nine, 9K good. 9K good. I, I was. <laughs> but same result. Gets Tom to fold. <laughs> Jacks, Jacks, Jacks. Jacks? No, jacks. no, no, even overcuts. Let's <laughs> 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 Straddle is on, I think, okay, 200. Okay, thank you. Restraddle, 400 is on. No look. No look. <laughs> uh, am I the smallest? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Am I the whatever this is now? It's 400 yeah. straddles. Hi. Hi. Is it Friday? It's Friday somewhere. It's Friday somewhere. Is it Friday in Fiji? Oh. Dan here and Thomas fry the game. Uh. Make it three large. I feel like I'm in a time machine to Friday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. So race here. Dan with a dirty diaper. Check. <laughs> Christian says, is Dan putting on a show again? Yeah, but it's kind of a midnight cult movie kind of show. You know, the kind that might get you a Razzie. Check. Check. Still fun to watch, though. Dan finds... Pair of deuces here. Check, check. Checks it back. And the dirty diaper is good. Crypto drew with eight high. Check, check. Does not try to bluff Action Dan here. <laughs> and the deuce is good. <laughs> Come on, dude. <laughs> I wasn't holding you on the river. Yeah, I wasn't. What? I had devious thoughts. I know. <laughs> you fucked up my plan. I was going to check raise this crap out of you on the turn and it would have worked. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Dave. But you actually hit a piece, so you were able to check back. That's correct. I see I once again found myself in poker hell Who? with seven psychopaths. 200. 400. Oh my god. Oh god. Yeah. Can, you, can you put the Kobe on top? Uh, sure. Thank you. Uh, 1200. A raise from Tom. Pepe calls the suited Broadway and Action Dan defends. No bluff. I think our all over hands has 33%. No bluff today. 33, 33, 33. Check. Check. Ah! Dan with the second pair. Jack. Aya. Check. Pick it easy, bro. It's Tom on the head, bro. Pick it easy. Serio. Fuck off, man. 
Serio, bro. 1600. Dan's gonna bet to protect his pair of fives. Zero percent chance, bro. Zero. Estrado lose. I lose. Stuck, a, I lose a lot, bro. Stuck. Come on, Tom. Thank you, dude. Hmm? Come on, dude. Two hundred is on. Stuck? Yeah. Four hundred? Why not? Let's go get more hundred, two hundred. <laughs> 400. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, easy four. Uh-oh. Easy four. Don't look. Pepe getting on Zio for not giving enough action here. Oh my god, easy four. Easy four. <laughs> second time he's done that, that he's folded the hand that he's dominating. Uh, no. That he has, that he, in which he is dominating Zio. Seven here for Zio, not much for Tom. Five hundred. Eighteen. Tom's gonna go for the raise here. He's got some back doors. Pretty ambitious raise. <laughs> and Zio is not going to be letting the A7 go just yet. 6,000 in there. Tom picks up a little bit of extra equity in the form of a gutter to a five, and that's. Part of what made this hand an interesting one to raise the flop with. Lots of ways for him to turn a little something. 4,200. Now that he has, he's going to keep firing. <laughs> what is Pepe doing? Pepe totally checked out of this hand. And does Tom's play work here? It might. Still a bunch of straight draws out there that Zio can beat. He makes the call again. And a whiff from Tom. Does he want to go for it here? Check. No, he waves the white flag. Nine high. And a nice pot for Zio. Uh, Tournament hand, any pair is good. Crazy overreaction from Zio. Calm down, buddy. One more street, one more street. Zio, you're crazy. Professional player. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> if you go all in, you stay in LA, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you check back, fly back to Bali. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so bad. I need to kill some food. Try again next year, bro. <laughs> don't leave, Tom. I, I, mean, I need my 25K, bro. Don't leave, don't leave. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> Sandor's raise gets a couple calls. And action Dan as well, of course. Check, check. A jack for Crypto Drew. 
Check. Sandor does not see back four ways. Crypto drew bet small and wins it. Sandor with another playable hand. Just calls and Zio finds Big Slick. Drew. It's going to isolate. And this is one reason you can occasionally play a very good hand slow from the blinds. Got somebody who might respond aggressively <laughs> behind you. Forty-six. And Zio is going to put in another raise. Gets Drew to put in twelve hundred that he would not have if Zio had just raised himself. Shout out to Kevin in the chat. Kevin's been on Max Payne Monday and Thirsty Thursday a decent amount recently. Also plays with us a bunch in the 5-5-10 game here at Hustler. Too much. So Action Dan's doing Action Dan things, but Drew wakes up with Queens. Forty four hundred. Forty four hundred. Uh, uh, no. And Dan lets it go. Chip, chip spot. <laughs> I'm making call. So. Race from Dylan. Pepe sneaking around with the Ace King suited. Oh boy. Trips for both Pepe and Dylan. And this could get costly for Dylan. There's just no reason to put Pepe on Ace King here. You could be behind King Queen or King Ten, but you'll take your chances. Pepe with a boat on the turn. Great, 2,400. And Pepe just clicks it back. Oh, 
Which again, when you do this, right. often you're getting minimum value while Maybe four, bro. Come on. giving out maximum information. Oh boy, boat over boat. That is ridiculous. Kings full of aces for Pepe, kings full of jacks for Dylan, and Dylan is just going Three to get stacked cards. here. The deck has decided. Come on, boo. If the money doesn't go in here, these two guys just played it wrong. Raise, nine large. There's a raise. And Dylan can even beat King-10 here. And there's just no reason, oh, because of how in. things went preflop, for in him in to put pull. Pepe on ace-king. So the money does go in, and a 52k pot is going to head over to Pepe after a slow roll here. Oh, ah, God. yeah. So sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> sorry, we said it. No, no, no. It's oh okay. It's okay. I should have just called. <laughs> oh, I should have just called. Brutal, call. brutal oh hand for God, Pet for so Dylan. Now. It's okay. It's oh boat over boated. That's that's tough. Amazing, we Oh my God, you know. All right, that's it for me today. Yeah. Dylan. No, no, no. Give me five thousand. Give me five thousand. I don't know. I don't want to play that. It's gonna gonna ride off into the sunset here. <laughs> oh, this is nice. <laughs> Pepe trying to give Dylan five grand, and Dylan will not take it. Sounds good. I'll see you soon. Yeah, it's all good. Nice to see you, man. And I think that the slow roll was not really a slow roll. It was more oh my God. just Pepe oh my did not want to stack Dylan. Whatever you do, you don't look flip it. Huh? You don't look flip it, whatever. Yeah. Don't. First hand you grab me for 60,000, man. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing? No. <laughs> flip it, I like it. You look, I like it. You look, I don't like it. Ace-King pre <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It felt like a slow roll while it was happening, but I, I really don't think that's what Pepe was up to at all. He, he honestly feels bad. About, about the mega cooler that just went down. <laughs> Man down. Check. You go get a No. Dylan, reassuring Pepe that it's all good. This has to be the most hugs I've ever seen between two players in the show. Do I, what should I do? Free for you. Free? Everything is free for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's about 3 dollars So Pepe, the biggest winner, up 56000 Even if he doesn't want all those Pepe. chips, he's got them. Pepe. Dylan, Please down 40000 and out of the game. What are you saying? Yeah. Stay. I'm staying. You take a lot. Of yeah, don't stop break. walking. <laughs> <laughs> no more walk. <laughs> I play a lot of hands. Yeah, but don't don't leave. Stop leaving. Yeah. Oh my I'm god. I'm, I'm, I'm the big play. Yes. Make it one thousand. Tens for Sandor. Zio re raises. Did you add a more chip? No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. One on the kill. Yeah, Dylan, 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 Dylan,
Heads up. Sandor makes the call. And a pretty good flop for pocket tens. No, you, you, didn't, you only had a one stack 5K. How do you have a two stack now? Check, check. And Sandor so with the best of it, but Zio with the queen of hearts. Please don't leave. I need a good double. Okay. Come on. You play a lot of hands. I don't love you. I do play a lot of hands. What are you talking about? Every hand is shitty hands. So how am I gonna play? Check. Kind of a gross river, but Sandor still with the best hand. Zio, with one of the worst hands he would ever turn up with in this spot, does he think he can get Sandor to fold something? Fifteen hundo. He's gonna bet half pot. Bump it up. And a raise from Sandor. Creative raise. Zio just with queen, uh, excuse me, with king high. And Sandor is going to win this one. I think Sandor, with that raise, is thinking that he wants to get Zio off of something that Zio might be value betting thinly, maybe two pair or ace jack, something like that. IQ Unknown says, understandable, Dylan wouldn't accept a rebate, but Pepe's reaction was genuine and a good look. Yeah, I agree. You should turn your card cards over faster if you're you're coolering someone, but I, I think that, that obviously, in retrospect, where Pepe was coming from was not anywhere malicious at all. In fact, he was sort of regretful about having gotten Dylan in such a ridiculous way. Crypto Drew, we've seen when it limps to him a couple times, how he'll bump it up with some garbage. Did it with nine deuce off last time and got three bet. Now does it with 10-3 and gets it through. Dylan actually is in the chat and says, Pepe is a friend of mine. I took no offense to the slow roll. Yeah, BC calls it a sad roll, which is probably, probably the accurate way to describe it. I like that sad roll. Six hundred. Shout out to Dylan. Took the beat really well, as he usually does, always does. Raise from action, Dan. Two calls. And bottom pair for Dan, top pair for Crypto Drew. Dylan confirming he's going to be back on the show tomorrow.
Tricky Wiki, thank you for the kind words. Bet from Dan and a call. Three spades out there now. Check. And does Dan want to keep firing here? Dan goes with the over bet. Puts Drew in a spot here with just a pair of nines. <laughs> Does let it go. Dan's bluff gets through. Nice over bet from Dan. Hold it at nine. Nice. I don't know. Don't block it, but. Right there? Oh, not a pair. One pair? Tough call to make. 200 is on. 400 is on. Uh, oh, God. You, thought, you thought I would hero call you if I had a king or a nine. So, I never pulled you there, so. 400 shuttle. 12 hundo. Cowboys for Sandor. Seen a bunch of big pairs tonight. How much? Not much. 3,500. Back on Tom now. It's not personal, man. <laughs> yeah, Sandor keeps showing Tom big hands. It's not personal. Get ace. <laughs> Kings. I, I said myself the same. I, it, it's not personal, just relax. <laughs> 200 is on. Four. Four oh, of course, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? Why, why not? Eight. Put the put the put the eight on, Sean. Sandor. <laughs> next time, next time. Pepe now with Kings. How much he? Sixteen. Sixteen. Can you be a little serious, please? Okay. This is a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> There's some, you, you know, think it doesn't like play well. Yes, 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 Heads up. Yes. Tom makes the call. And a queen for Tom. One thousand. Could spell trouble. One large. <laughs> Ten hundred. Three thousand. In fact, Tom's going to raise. Three large? No, three thousand. Three thousand. Yeah. <laughs> I correct him. Yeah. I don't want to hear any logic. Check. Uh, All right, check Tom that. checks this back. Five thousand. Not bad at five thousand from Pepe. Oh. Quick call from Kings. Tom. Kings. I need 20k more, okay? Every hand I got it. Thank you, Tether. That's a good Thank hand you. here. Lingman saves you. That, yeah. that, that yeah. won a lot of money to hear before. She saves you. How did I save him? I was, I was going to three bet and then you and then you're like, 
can you take it seriously? And then I was like, okay, I just started laughing. <laughs> I started laughing in my go, fuck. You don't mind? Yeah. So you blame on me, uh, you, on my joke? I didn't blame anything on you. I said Ling Ling saved you. There's quite a difference between blaming you and saying you saved him. You should have... Yeah, don't worry, I'm leaving I mean, in 10 minutes. You're, st <laughs> you're <laughs> stuck. <laughs> How do you... Minutes. You're supposed to call like, every uh, single pep is raised. Yeah. Three bed here. I live in 10 minutes. <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm in 10 minutes. God, I saved you so many times today, Pep. I'm really sick. I'm really sick. Shut up. Nine five a heart. <laughs> now what? I'm like, this is a good spot. I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe okay. not too serious. Right? Look at my hand. You the girl, all your... Look at my hand. Nine five nine. I'm really wow. sick. Serio. Serio. Oh, really? Serio. Oh, really? Serio. I'm so nervous. I know you're nervous. <laughs> no, <laughs> fuck hell no. Dylan's saying that he thought friend. that okay. Pepe had ace X of spades. Then what did you have? Nine five diamonds? Or trips in that hand. Oh my god, did you fold those hands? I don't ever... Because she talk, you, you talk to... Uh, to be serious. Check. Yeah. He decided to be serious. Yes. Did not think he had a boat, but I, I also think that, that Dylan's hand was just so strong that Yeah. you don't need to do a whole lot of hand reading. No. I don't want to hear 1,000 when I bet. I only want to hear 1,000, 2,000. It's 1,000, it's the same. Okay, next time I bet 10 this. Okay. Next time you bet 1,000, you bet 10 this. Magic, I like my 1,000, okay? Okay. Magic. English is not my first oh. language. I don't know what <laughs> what ten hundred means. Okay. What's your first language? Chinese. Which, which one? Though? Yeah. Mandarin or Cantonese? Mandarin. Translate. <laughs> ten large. What the hell are you? What's wrong with you, kid? And now Lauren starts to say large too. Uh, uh, <laughs> ten hundred too. Yeah. What is going on? <laughs> So Dylan's in the chat, which is how I know what he was putting on, oh, yeah. putting Pepe on there. He's not saying it from the table. He's not at the table. He's in the chat. Three hundred. Huh. All right, let's go three way. Yeah, Dylan's saying, yeah, I really didn't think he could beat me there, Charlie. No hand reading, really, in all honesty. I mean, yeah, what what can you put him on that you're losing to? Pocket aces, ace king. He's not really supposed to have either of those hands after just calling free flop. <laughs> if I were in Dylan's spot and that much action happened on the river, I would probably be thinking that Pepe had king 10. But obviously, Dylan can beat king 10. 36 on Doe. Are you okay? Will you focus? Oh, shit. I thought I, put, I, thought I called. Three bet from Drew. Oh my God. Pocket fives. No more ten hundred. Okay? I'm gonna take a two minute break. I'll be right back. <laughs> so don't forget, before I go. The Million Dollar Game is coming up at the end of May. It's a while from now, but it's going to be really exciting. So be sure to put it in your calendars. Alan Keating will be here, along with Tony G, Doug Polk, a bunch of other luminaries. That's May 28th to 31st. Start getting psyched. Million Dollar Game for 2024 is coming at the end of May. Tommy, Tommy. <laughs> Straddle. Where is my 20k, Tommy? On the way. I need my 20k on back. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Calling in.
Dale un agua, por favor. Sí. Dale uno a. a ya. Aquí está. Ya va. Dan opens his button. Tom with a three bet. And does Lingland want to get involved here with sixes? She's going to cold four bet it. Doesn't think the open from Dan or the three bet from Tom necessarily mean a whole lot, which I think generally she's probably correct about. Dan does have a real hand, though. And he five bets, kind of turning his ace jack suited into a bluff here. He's going to have to call off when Ling Ling shoves, but I don't know if she's going to in this particular case. Chan says, y'all need to do the million dollar game at least twice a year. Yeah, I'll relay that to Ryan. It's usually really easy for him to put together, so I'm sure it'll be no problem. Dan does get the five bet through. <laughs> oh God! Defense. Bottom defense, up? okay? You can play whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah. When? This year or after? No, starting next. Yeah, sure. How much? Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Sounds good. How about three hundred? Sure. Two hundred doesn't hurt. Yeah. agreeing to play stand-up starting next hand. <laughs> Race from Zio brings Drew and Ling Len along. Drew, both with cutter and backdoor flush draws. Ooh, what a turn card. The nuts for both Zio and Crypto Drew, but Zio with a huge free roll. And some money is about to go flying into this pot. 8,400 in there. After a check through on the flop, and Zio bets 3,600. And now Drew is going to raise. 
huge free roll incoming for Zio. And I think Zio has little enough behind that he'll probably just jam here. He does. 67,000 in the middle. One time. Drew might regret that. Zio needs a heart. Doesn't find one, though, and they're going to chop this up. Need a free roll on the heart. Yep. Sick turn card. And how much is the bounty? Stand up. Three. Yeah. Three hundred. Tommy. You blink, please. Starting now. Can you can you call me that? I need some chips. So Ringland looking to reload here. Listen, no. I I just want to get chips. Absolutely. And. The stand-up game is going to begin. Benny Blanco says this Dan guy is an up-and-coming star if he keeps playing like this. Yeah, it's not always perfect. Sometimes it's really good. Sometimes he plays really well. And even when he's not playing really well, it's always interesting. Can you cover your hand, Tommy? Both. Well, huh? Always good to have Dan in the lineup. I don't see that here, but Dan is next to me. So please, cover your head. I don't like cheating. So the stand-up game will be for $300 a player. Again, it's on. The game is on. Straddle, re-straddle, re And Pepe wakes up with Ace-King suited again. Again against King Jack. Puts in the three bet this time. And Drew's going to call. Almost 11,000 already in the pot. And Ace King's still good. Eight. Huge bet here from Pepe. Not much for Drew to, to do. Oh, you gotta show it. <laughs> and he does. Pepe gets his marker. Pepe with his marker now. <laughs> Gets to lay back a little bit. Limpy, limpy. No way Dan doesn't raise here. Pepe with that little chuckle revealed that he's pretty weak, I think. You have one already. Dan gets a marker. I like that's what I Like 
David Jason says, can someone please tell me what Pepe's shirt says? I believe it says, no poker, no life. It's the name of Pepe's new apparel company. No poker, no life.net. Just to remind you, Pepe's giving away at least $2,000 because he won. Last week, potentially 2K more of his lead from today holds. So if you want a shot at that $4,000 potentially, head over to Pepe's Instagram, which is Pepe at, at Pepe underscore Latino underscore official with one F. And follow it and like and comment on that account. Or you can buy a hoodie over at nopokernolife.net. And the giveaway for that will be on Friday. Three bet from Dan. Sandor makes the call. And not a lot there for Sandor. gets the bluff through. for Drew. He gets it through, so he gets a marker. Joining Pepe and Dan. Raise from Zio. Three bet from Drew. He's got a premium. Zio gets out of the way. Always a great spot to get your marker early in the stand up game. know that some of the other players are going to be desperate to win a hand. Pepe now with Queens. Benny P says, what is stand-up game? Can you explain, please? Basically, yeah, if you you win a hand and you show it, you get a marker. And marker means you're safe. And the last person who doesn't have a marker has to pay everybody else out a certain amount. In this case, $300. 
per player. So it's a game that encourages action because <laughs> people don't want to play out, they don't want to pay out the bounties, and more importantly, they don't want to be seen as the loser of the stand-up game. So it kind of supercharges 15, 15. any Millimet Hold'em game. Yeah. Race from Ling Lin, and again, Drew waking up with a good hand. It's already had Queens, Ace King suited, and now Ace Queen suited in this round of the stand up game. And Pepe with sixes. Let's him go. Yang says, I always thought that marker said that stupid game. It does say that. Tommy, Tommy. But at, the, at 20. Okay. You want to straddle? I keep it. Yeah. Straddle. Three straddle. Nice, nice. No loop, no loop. Ling Lin gets a marker. So we're down to Tom, Sandor, and Zio. Ling Lin opens, Drew just makes the call, and that'll bring in Dan as well. Okay. Gutters for Ling Lin and Drew. Dan with the best hand right now, and he actually donk bets here. Lingland's mic just fell down. Both players call. And Drew now with a flush draw. Gutterford, Dan, still has the best hand. Both these players now have markers. And Dan hits a pair of queens. Not sure there's a great reason to bet now. The 
Dan disagrees. That's about 40% pot. He's going to look for some value from a nine, I think. And Drew, snap jams. Wow, sick line from Drew. Good count. Did not see that coming. You can put them all for me. It's like 31, 32, give or take. Can you pass me that shit? Thank you. Oh, sorry. 27. Not even totally sure what Drew is representing here. I feel like it's a two pair type hand or maybe something like a slow plate set. But either way, it looks really strong. And so few players will even have bluffs when they take this line. 33, 34, three. 34,300. Dan hates to fold, but Drew has really put him in a spot. Dan does like to bet thinly. And if you have an opponent who can do something like this, that's the flip side of, that's the downside rather of, of betting thinly for value. This just does not look like a bluff. 30,000. 34,300. But Dan is counting out a call. She might be doing to get a read. This would be a wild call with a pair of queens if Dan can find it. And he does. Good. Good call. Wow. A $79,000 pot. Dan show? figures it out. You want, I can show you. You want me to show? I don't care. It's up to you. Nice call, man. I'll take the even the chip. Yeah. Sick call. Sick check raise. And an even sicker call. What a play by Action Dan. Want these? Uh, no, it was this one. Yeah, 50. Yeah, 50. Yeah. Very cool. Nice, dude. Good jam. Oh, we love to battle. Yeah. Got it, got it. Thank you. What do you want? Uh, or white? It's going to be 25, 50, yeah. 50, 1. So Drew adds on for 50 more. Four. What a player Dan is. Not all of his plays are great, but a lot of them are the most interesting thing that could possibly happen. Race from Lingland, three calls. Derek says, it's not that sick. The line made zero sense. Check. As Lin Lin makes a pair of tens here. I mean, you know, to me, how much sense is, it makes is probably less important than just the fact that most players do not have that move. If you start calling in live poker, 
in those kinds of spots because a line didn't make sense, that's a great way to go broke really quickly. Usually what's happened is that somebody's rivered some crazy hand or has slow played some crazy what hand. What the frequency you're folding there to that river, Jim? Zero. No. No, it's not going to call 100%. Or it's going to call 50 50. What do you want? I have like two pretty good cards to call with. I would play a set the same way, I think. Yeah, I was worried about fives you. or sixes. But yeah. That's why I showed up. Random two pairs, I don't know. Yeah, so if you're considering making a call like that because it doesn't make sense, you really have to think, could this player be bluffing here? And a lot of times the answer, or, I mean the vast majority of times, the answer is no. Twenty-five. Drew apparently one of the few players who could find a bluff in that spot. Huge hand for Ling Lin facing a three bet. Where's my three hand? Right here. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. oh, 63. 63. I, I'm, yeah, I, 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 I'm sorry, I didn't see it. No, I, I, I'm grabbing, I'm grabbing. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm very sure. <laughs> I'm Pretty fair. Tommy, Tommy. No no good Jinji no saying, no, no, you wouldn't play a set on a double flush draw board like that. I, I think that he might. Because when you're as aggressive as Dan is, when you have an opponent as, as aggressive as Dan, you want to slow play a lot because he's just going to pile money into pots, including in some spots that are kind of counterintuitive. It, it, it makes sense to me that, that Drew would play a set that way. It's a quiet mastermind in the corner here. They want some fucking weird shit, dude. Ugh. Now aces for Drew. Just lost his chips, of course, but has picked up a bunch of good hands in this round of the stand-up game. Three, three. And Sandor three bets and faces a four bet. Sandor is going to call. Oh boy. See you on the river. The nut flush draw for Sandor. And Drew has got a hand that he is not folding. Sandor jams, and a quick call, 49,000 in there. One time, it is. One time, Sandor looking for a diamond. Do you have a set? No. Do you have yeah. a king? I have aces. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> yeah, Sandor hoping his ace is live, but it's not. <laughs> Ooh, there's the diamond. Sandor wins a 49K pot. Check mark on the turn. Fucking Pedge tells me to always go once. Props to Drew for going once, but does not work out for him this time. Sandor doubles up. Whatever you want me to do. Gross. Just 
all in on the flop, just rip? No, I bet he he uh, he ripped it in. He just ripped it? Yeah, obviously. Twenty. Just four by four. What is it? Raise the bet for bet calls. Check bet all in the flop. This is the main part, right? Yes. I think it was small for bet, but. I need a 60k more, man. I, need a I also more. need 60k more. We seem to be in a little bit of a situation here. You need 60k, I need 60k. I don't know what we should that. do here. I'll take the code. I'll take it. Can I give you here? How much? Is there this? Five? Just a nasty sequence here for Drew. Getting his huge bluff picked off and then. Getting his aces cracked. Nice right, hands. Oh, what do you want? You wanted to buy the purple? It's okay. Right. It, was just, it was just like big. Thank you. I've never even seen one. <laughs> and the uh, bottom. And, uh, yeah, I need a button. Oh. Stupid card. Oh, God. You were fighting for it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Some extra bonus game. <laughs> yeah, the, the bun games on all that goes really differently. Paul? Did I not put my anything in? I'll get it. Yeah. So we're down to Tom and Zio this round of the stand up game. And CEO and Tom will get to see a cheap flop. Okay. All right. Okay. Third pair. And Zio does not bluff, so Tom's gonna get a marker and Zio's gonna win this round, or excuse me, lose this round of the stand-up game. Thank you. You guys flipping or what are you guys doing? Just pay it. Let's go for the third. I got flipping on pay it on my end. So Pepe, still the big winner, up 70k. Dan now up 50k. He was way down at the bottom of the standings earlier. He's made a huge comeback, thanks in part to Crypto Drew, who is now stuck almost 75k. Right. That's Just for, for, yeah. Mm -hmm. off. Cool. So stand up game not on. Eleven hundred. Game's off. Game's off? Yeah. Call. Oh. <laughs> 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 yes. 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 Crypto Drew sends his 25k into the middle here. And this should get a bunch of folds. How much you? I'm just gonna think about this. All wow. All in. Once or twice. He jams. One time it is. Pocket there. fives. Thinks that Drew perhaps has squarely ace king, I guess. 
This seems pretty wild, but Tom is ahead. I'm toast. Huh? I've aced King. Drew runs it once, and Tom wins this one, a 53K what? pot with pocket fives. Yeah. All right, not my night. Will you come? I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to sit it out. Sorry. Sounds you like Drew miss. might be done. Didn't run too hot. Played courageously, but it didn't work out. Drew loses about 100K. The victim of opponents who just would not fold to him. He just lost 100K. You have a little... <laughs> a little respect. It's the bounty game. <laughs> Come on, fool. I almost called, bro. Mariano. Bro, my favorite hand. Called. DJ my Washburn. Hand, it's like close to broke. And Nate Hill. Hey, nice. I, I, that man. <laughs> I assume that's tomorrow. I can fool my hand, but I have a damn. I have a... On Hustle no, Casino Live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the last action for sure I call. Yes, this is tomorrow, 5 p.m. Oh Hustler God. Casino Live. 300. 1,000. I don't mean I miss much, if anything. How much? 1,000. 1,000. 3,800. Did we lose, Andrew? What do you say, Lee? <laughs> Go to 800? <laughs> You say play zero. <laughs> you don't play zero, right? Yeah. Okay, I fool. I fool. I don't like it. Free bet from Tom. Base King suited. Dan. We lost Andrew. Ling Lin, four bets, and Dan has pocket nines. It was me. I think this is the third time tonight Ling Lin has run ace queen, ace queen into ace king suited. How much you playing? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Dan actually lets the nines go. Tom makes the call. It's a flip for him. Dylan Flashner in the chat saying he's going to be in the mix tomorrow as well. Check. Check is good. Tom's going to hope his ace king is good enough to win on its own, and it is. 5,000. But Ling Lin is trying to take matters into her own hands here. Yes, now I win. Yeah. <laughs> Tom takes this one Same down. Hand, but no uh, pin. Every time it is king, there is king. Right? You got collection, 205. What do you do if I just call? 300. No, for sure I know. Thank you. <coughs> mm. I'm good for the game tomorrow. I give pretty much. I give respect for... <laughs> <laughs> what happened, uh, Tom? No, I mean, so I, I give respect for Lin Lin, but uh, no respect for... Uh, no them. respect? <laughs> good for tomorrow, bro. 200 is actually a really good player. He just kind of ran bad, to be honest. Yeah, but HQ is terrible. He had he, he, uh, A skills. I get a selection, man. Raise it, 1200. What is it? 1200. 1200. Oh. Oh. Heads up. Raise from Dan. Pepe calls. Both players with 9 8. 200. Raise, 500. I 
Stand up. Stand up, right? Stand up, sure. Sure, stand up. <laughs> I had your favorite hand. Uh, eight nine? You're like, I have eight nine. How many eight nine in the, in the space. day? Oh, I have eight nine. I have a space. Don't like, don't like me. I'm gonna go meet for dinner. Okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I'll go meet if you wanna come meet us. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll meet you there. Right. Later, buddy. Good game. You need an Uber or are you gonna drive? Am I the. You're the 100, yeah. What's going on? You're the 50 50, dude. I'm 50. Okay, I need another 50K, okay? Just 50K. Okay, I'm 50K, I'm coming tomorrow. 400. Huh? 50K, I'm coming tomorrow. Are you two of my hands? That pay 400. Car. Car. Car? Car. No, no, car. A lot of talk in the Fine. chat about Four running it twice. Let's go. Heads up. And I think with Drew we saw Check. that it is a double-edged sword. It's it's really Fine. cool that he's only running it once. Definitely makes the individual hands more exciting TV. But on the other hand, if he had run it twice, he would probably still be here. And we wouldn't be so short. So... You know, it's a sword that you can live or die by. <laughs> 16. Ling Ling. That's so great. I was distracted and I accidentally folded because, like, I forgot I would have flopped the nuts. I'm so fucking mad. Oh my god. Are you fold? What? I accidentally fold. I didn't want to fold. It's okay. And then it has like. <laughs> buy high or something. <laughs> Dylan says definitely a double edged sword. Always easy to say run it once until the money's in front of that's you in a pot that's big. Yeah, well, well put. I'm so mad. 300. So fucking mad. Buy or wait one hand? Yes. I'll buy it. Um, 300 cattle. 300 cattle. Is that corner? It's not Twitter like it. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Still so mad. I am so mad. Oh. Option two thousand. Make it two thousand. So a three hundred dollar straddle is on, I believe. So Tom was here with straddle mountains. Tom bumps it up. Call. Dan makes the call. Heads Why up. not? Flops an eight, because why not? Mute, cheat, nine. Copy. 2,500. Call. Tom picks up a flush draw. <laughs> Good timing. <laughs> Bet 
bet. 15,000. Tom goes for the over bet. And this feels like another spot where Dan might be able to make a hero call. Knows that there are just tons and tons of draws out there now. People tend not to believe you when you bluff on double flush drop boards. Because there's just so much stuff you can have. Uh, 40 with this, 48, 50 and something. But Tom does get this through. The turn over bet works as Tom picks up equity, gets Dan to fold a pair. Not an easy task, but he pulls it off. You're lucky Pepe talk to me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking what is the bet, and then Pepe starts to, 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 to talk with you, and then the bet. How you and Sandra? 10K in the pot. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you're the 100. Or 100. 200 is on. Great. I mean, I think the people who are getting mad about running it twice sh should realize probably that in every medium, pretty much every medium to high stakes poker game, running it twice is an option that many or most players take. It's just absolutely incredibly common. And part of the reason is that the amounts of money are big. And part of the reason is that when you have games for big amounts of money, the number of people who can play them is pretty small. And you tend to want to preserve your player pool. One thousand. And if you cut down on variance a little bit, over time, people can stick around for longer. Fuck it up. Four thousand. So if you're getting mad about people running it twice, I mean, that's just pretty much the reality of how high stakes poker has worked going back decades. Tom has Dan slightly out kicked and also has a flush draw. And they will chop this up if it gets to showdown. Check. Check. Pepe mm. must have folded something that would have been a good hand here. Mm. Split. Maybe Pepe wins. You good? Sure. Full ace loose. Sure, ace loose. Sure. 500? Yeah. Thank you, Dad. Come on, dude. I'm Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. Ace Deuce are hard. Yeah, Pepe with Ace Deuce of hearts there. Pepe are like two diamonds. Rare lymph pot here. Check. We got her. Race, 1300. <laughs> Right 
one other thing I could say about running it twice is that if Ryan were to say, you can't do that, the players would be very upset. Because they all play high stakes poker and they're used to that being an option. And they feel with some justification like when they're playing, it's their game. It's not like 1-2 or something where there's just an endless procession of people who can come play. Okay. So to some extent, you have to defer to the players. Double gutter here. Just kind of try to get Zio to fold a pair. works. Gets the bluff through with the four high. It's 100, Tom. Not a double gutter, was it? I thought there was an ace out there, but there was not, right? It was just a single gutter. Sorry about that. gets 3-bet by Zio. Sandor makes the call. Likely to see a small bet from Zio here. One commenter saying Magic would outplay all the players at the table except maybe Dan. I, I've never known Magic to actually play poker. Maybe you're thinking of Sammy. Sammy is a poker player. He's won a bunch of tournaments. 1,800. Is, is quite accomplished. Or maybe you know something about Magic that I don't. Three bet from Tom. Oh. Zio sticks around. And a gutter for Zio. Really bad board for Tom as the three better. bets and gets Tom to fold a slightly better hand. Mark from Connecticut saying, Magic won a trip about two months ago. Yeah, but I believe that was a 
a contest for all casino employees. I don't think he actually had to play poker to win it. Three under. See any good movies lately? <laughs> it's not. You seen Tom goes back to Dubai? <laughs> Dude, that's cold blooded, man. <laughs> cold blooded. That movie has not been made yet. Six hundred. Right, huh? This is why. This is why you must go back. Too large. Relax, Tom. Stop raising. You can stay another week or two, bro. <laughs> cool. Three bit from Tom. Dan makes the call. Heads up. Check. Not much there for Dan. Raise, that has never stopped him before. Putting in the raise here. Just some pretty sloppy back doors. Tom not folding the ace queen yet. Neither player with a pair. Dan does not continue firing. Tom checks it back. Is going to see if his ace queen can get the showdown. And gets a really nice river card. Could Dan represent this card? Try to get Tom to fold tens or nines or something like that. No, he checks. See betting really small being an interesting option here against Dan. Bet. Forty eight hundred. Tom does bet about a third of the pot. And what's Dan going to do with queen high? The obvious answer is to fold, which he does, but you never really know what he's, what he's thinking about. Nice bluff. Nice bluff for me. Tommy, Tommy. Four hundred for Adelaide's arms. Oh God. Up, 2400. Oh. 
Pepe completes, Dan raises, Pepe calls. And flops a five. Pepe picks up a flush draw to go with his pair. All right, check, check. Five large. And I'm not totally sure what the point of this bet is. Probably isn't going to matter, though. Again, though, you never really know what Dan's up to. Wow, he calls with the deuces. <laughs> Remember, you call me five doors. Interesting. <laughs> I was thinking that That's not wrong, Pepe maybe had something like Jack-10. Queen 10. I know. You call me fair five. The last time. Wow. Big part. 26,000. <laughs> Month good. Thank you, Pepe. <laughs> That's it, bro. I give you 26,000, right? Eh? Yeah, action gets action, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cabo too much. That's a valley bet, Pepe. That was like... So good. I play so bad, bro. Donkey. That is some sick rally. The finest. Pepe's line did feel like a line that a lot of players take as a bluff. The call sort of makes sense to me now that I think about it. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. No, this time. But the problem is when you lose to some of their bluffs. All right. Three ways. I'm coming for you, bro. I like you. Check. Check. Five hundred. Okay. Sandor is going to take a shot at this and. He will win it. I did it once. <laughs> no, I just thought you wanted to. Here, I'll do it. I'll do it. You, you, you don't have to do it. No, I'm going to do it. No, no, no. You insisted. I'll do fine. 400. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Take it back. <laughs> Make it 1600. Yeah, this was a waste. <laughs> Raise from Dan. Ling Ling calls. And action flop. Two pair for Ling Ling. Flush draw for Dan. 1400. Lingland just calls. Fifty-two hundred. 
Dan keeps firing. Lingland jams. And this is quite an underbluff line. Not that it really matters in Dan's seat. It's mostly just a math problem. 18,075. 13,200. Let's wait for the graphics to catch up here. Yeah, 13,000 to win. 43,000. That's not enough with a flush draw, I don't think, with one card to come. Which is annoying. But Dan likes to gamble. He's going to call. Plus is fun. Three times. He'll try to find a heart here. All right, let's go two times. Ningland will win the first run out. And the second one as well. Full house on the second board. And she doubles up. That's the end, I see. Except I can't. There is a book for sure. A little card there. Kings for Sandor. There's the three bet. <laughs> Shown Tom so many big pairs when he's three betting today. Showed him Kings and Jacks and now Kings again. Tom Lingwen calls. And gutters for both players. Lingwen's a little bit better, but ace high is the best hand right now. Double gutter now for Ling. Lin. She barrels and takes it down. So I'm Charlie Wilmoth. I'll be with you for the next hour. Thank you, William. If you want to find me on Twitter, I'm at Third Walking. That's T H I R D, third spelled out. You can find links from there to my poker podcast, which is called Third Man Walking. Bumping it up from the cutoff, 7-5 off. 
Gets three bet by Tom. And Zio wakes up with Ace King. And here comes the four bet. Five thousand. Dan gets out of the way, and does Tom want to speculate here? No. Okay. Maybe smaller, I call. Maybe smaller. Yeah. <laughs> so Zio takes this one down. Before ace team? See this. All queens. I for ace queen, ace yard. More action I play. Yep. <laughs> Stupid Pepe. What are you doing? Tom's got everybody except Pepe dominated. Yeah. Okay. Ling Lin with a flush draw. How much? <laughs> How much? Zero. So far, it's oh. zero. How much, Sandro? 400. Sandor is going to fire here. <sighs> Pepe makes the call. Oh, I, I thought there were two diamonds out there. That's why I said Lingland had a flush draw. She did not. Where's the river? I don't see the river. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? You can't see the river. Oh, you can't see. Pepe does have a gutter, though. <laughs> Sandor keeps firing after picking up a little bit of equity. I can think how I eat skin, bro. <laughs> and having the best hand, of course. Sandor's double barrel gets through. Having position is nice. Ling Lin with a premium. Jesus. And Tom with a premium. Here we go. 27. 2700. Ling Lin pretty deep here. I assume she'll go for the four bet here. Bump it up. 7,700. 7,700. And could all the money just go in here? Tom's just going to call. Wants to keep any bluffs Ling Lin might have in there. Tom does not improve.
About 40% here from Ling Lin. And I don't know, I mean, I don't really think Tom needs to continue hanging around here. It gets a really bad flop. Sometimes you're just going to lose this hand against another ace king, but oh well. 60. He makes the call. 65. Queens still looking good. Check. And Ling Lim with about pot behind. Almost exactly pot, in fact. She can shove here, potentially get a call from jacks or tens. Or something like ace king or ace queen of spades. could certainly be trapping here some percentage of the time, but I think when your hand is as strong as Lingland's is, you can chip in the money and not have many regrets about it. She checks back, though. Ooh, Tom spikes an ace on the river. Nasty river for Linglin. Already 28,000 in this pot. Check. Check. Ah, it's again. Oh, my God. And Linglin gets rivered. Tom expected Linglin to bet that card, perhaps. One's good. Thank you. All right, one, two. Good luck. Thank you, everyone. And... <clears throat> it's one of the costs of checking back that turn, not that it's necessarily a horrible play or anything like that, but you do risk an ace or king falling on the river. So Pepe, the big winner so far, up 75K. Sandor and Tom also up a bunch. Two players are, of course, already out of the game, and the only player left who's down is Ling Lin, who's stuck 26,000, much of it coming just moments ago in that hand against Tom. Dylan, of course, got coolered to oblivion by Pepe. And then got about nine hugs. And Crypto Drew generally played very entertainingly, just ran it once, ran a bluff that didn't work, and then lost some all ins. Drew played 50% of hands while he was here. Dan. Do you work with Playing 46%, Tom at 43. Um, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Mostly just invest in this project. Oh, but, oh cool. <laughs> I pulled one before. Is he really? <laughs> nah, I'm just. It's too poor. I let it up. Tommy, Tommy. I raised a bit cheap, so there's something you can eat. I like this tag now. I play it serious now. Okay? You play it serious all the way. Thank you. 
bunch of straight draws out there. Tom with the best of those is going to take a shot at this. Both opponents call. And a 10 for Dan. Who had the best hand anyway. Seven. Tom continues firing, goes huge. 7,000 into 3,000. Sandor's got a 10 as well. This is this huge bet size is going to let him off the hook. I don't see Dan folding though. Such a giant bet. I can see why Dan's thinking about this, but I just don't think he's folding. For one thing, he doesn't like it. But he does let it go. Wow, what a bluff from Tom. Takes a lot to get Dan to fold top pair, top kicker, but Tom finds a way. Thanks, Dan and Tom. Dan and Tom both showed up on the show at around the same time, and they've both been really fun additions to the mix here. Very aggressive, very loose, very creative, both of them. Race from Zio, three calls. And two pair for Sandor. Snap check here from Sandor. Wants to induce some action somewhere. Dan picks up a gutter. And Dan does fire. Sandor makes the call. Ling Lin with a gutter as well. Did she raise? Yes, she raises. Wow, so Sandor's slow play working out to perfection so far. Check the flop to the preflop raiser, then check the turn. Induce a bluff and a rebluff. or induced a bet in a raise to speak more clearly. Sandor makes the call. 15,000 in there. And Ling Lin does not improve. Does she try something crazy here? She had a strong hand. 
I wouldn't be surprised if she just bet the turn rather than going for the check raise. Physically, she looked a little bit unsure there. Ling Ling. She bets 12,000, 80% pot. Yeah, okay. And Sandor has induced this. I think this is just a quick call. She does make, doesn't sound like he loves it, but he's going to win a $39,000 pot. So I think Sandor is just in for 10,000 tonight. He's running up to 69,000. Is it just an easy call? No, no, no. It's just Lena is pumping, <laughs> trying to get her victory. <laughs> Wake up, Pepe. Pepe snaps to attention to take a look at his cards. Relax, Tom. Relax. I am super relaxed. <laughs> <laughs> Raise from Dan, three bet from Tom, and Lingland jams her last 10K. It's 9K. Tom wants to see if he wants to give her action. He's going to get a count here. Let's give some action to Lin Lin. Mm -hmm. He does. 20,000 in there. Okay, once, twice, three times. Twice is fun. Twice or twice. Don't make too much. Pure flip here, 50% huh? equity for both players. Gutter here for Tom. He does not improve though. Ling Lin. He would? One time. Takes her stack back. <laughs> Okay. Okay, good start. Good start. Two clubs for Tom in the second run out. Thank you, bro. And oh, there's a flush for Tom, so they'll chop this up. To the tightest player, that's oh. tooting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you have two pairs. What? Sorry, can you pass that? What's your thing? Thank you. No, no, no. Uh, it's for. Uh, yeah. Sandor? Sandor. Sandor. The real name is uh, Shandor. Yeah, it's really uh, yeah. Sandor. Yeah, yeah, Sandor. Sandor, what do I remember? Sandor, what? Uh, oh, really? Okay. So not sure of the pre-flop action there. But a big flop for Lingland. Sandor with top pair. And Ling Lin raises, does not have much behind. Dan with a flush draw, he gets out of the way though. That, that's, there's, that's all yours, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, Lin. And the money's gonna Come go in here. Twice. Don't say, it's just a say. Huh? Uh, I'll say what? And okay. another flip here. Twice. No, I'm for Ling Lin. I say, Come on. <laughs> I just say, Come on, let's go. She picks up some outs. 
Is that you, Lynn? Yeah. And yes. gets there. So. It's a straight on the first board. Hey, that's you, Lynn. I need a club. Okay, and not a so club. You. I should just do one time both times. Oh. And she oh, finds okay. a 10, so she's going to yeah. win. Okay. Both boards, <laughs> gets the double up. Oh. Two pair on the second board. Oh, that's good hand. Unlucky. Yeah. yeah, pair and a flush. What I'm waiting. Thank you. I like it. Yeah, that's a call. Nine. Yeah, it's the end of that thing. I'm playing six off. Oh, you did? How much? It was just Nine, donation. <laughs> donation to you. Four ten. Four ten. Thank you. Hmm. Ten. Four hundred. Ten. Yeah, what's the you could have folded, too. <laughs> <laughs> you, you must never fold. Oh, you fold? I should have just folded. Oh, no, it's 10? Uh, yeah. Um, no, I wasn't. Really? It's good. I, mean, I thought about it for a second, and I mean, I wasn't uh, rolling you. I was just yeah, yeah, getting yeah, yeah. space for myself. No, I thought it, I don't know what no. you had. I'm just laughing because... Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or because Dom it's put not. me on too. Yeah. Oh, my. She's not. Yeah, yeah. She always no. tried to punt. She, she, and then somehow she tries hard, yeah, but. Back. <laughs> and sometimes it's not working. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it just doesn't work. No, that ace king really killed the shit out of me. Oh, why did I check? You were better still, Rigor? You were better? Of course, at the big end. I was like, you know what, let me play a little tricky check. check. And then boom, ace. Alright, that's tricky check with queens? Yes! Do you oh. know, dear? That's so tilting. Mm. Wow. Bling Lin, upset with herself. I, I want to go get all in pre -flop. For checking with queens you against Tom Day's king. I'm all in without ace and you call. Yeah. Well, Riva, I'm not calling. Ace hit. Huh? Uh, if no ace, if no ace. Yeah, no ace, yeah, I have, I have a call. Dan with a real hand and Tom wakes up with a hand that he could consider bluffing with. He lets it go though. Wise. And does Ling Lin want to speculate here? She's not very deep. She does make the call. Pepe comes along as well. Dan's overpair still good. and takes it down. After I lost the I don't want to know about movies or shit. There's at all. <laughs> no weekend plans, no movies. No nothing. talking, nothing. Nothing. Don't care. Okay. Kidding. Jesus Christ. what do you like to do? Do you have hobbies besides poker? Play basketball. Play basketball? I don't really do. I just work and play poker. Like this? No, not yet. Hopefully soon. What is this? You just got married or? I got married last year. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It'll be our one year anniversary. Are you working on it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 If I went all in, it would be 25k. You would have called. You had nothing invested. Oh, uh, I don't know. I, 
Pepe is responsible for wow, single divorce. Wow, easy call. <laughs> I probably should have gone on a check. Oh, yeah, it's 25k. Oh, your profit. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Call? You never, I don't know. Everyone, everyone wants to say, yeah, I call you in a second. Who knows, you know, it's like. Yeah, you gotta, in the moment, feel like. I'll tell you what I would do. I would have gotten up for, I would have said, don't fold me. I would have gotten up from my oh, chair. It's okay. Nine of hearts, six of And taken a walk. Again, nine of hearts, everyone. 1,200. So a raise here from Tom and Sandor. Wakes up with a nice hand. Four. There's the three bet. I need to call mm. at least one time. At least one time I need to call. And Sandor's pretty Holding deep now, time. so Tom's going to make the call. Seven for Tom. Pretty good board for Sandor's range, though. Five thousand. Five thousand. Five thousand. Big bet from Sandor and Tom just lets the bottom pair go. So Sandor's run it, run it up really nicely tonight. Big stack of five Ks from a starting stack of not a whole lot. I think he might just be in for 10,000. <laughs> if he's in for more than that, it's not much more. Shower, shower. I know a, a win like this also just means a lot to him as well. Three bet from Lingling. Tom makes the call. And an open ender for Lingling. Tom again forced to fold. You want one? I can find you one. Fine, fine. Mary's my good. Daughter's my good. Mary's not good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot of fucking shit. Bro. Are you I'm married? I'm really. I feel so bad in. Well, you've been married? Or <laughs> it happens, bro. I feel like there's I a lot. Like it, there's I a lot going on here right now. I have a lot. Can I show my hand, guys? <laughs> sure. <laughs> you want to. Okay, three. you want, baby? <laughs> Pepe, it's your world, man. We're just living in it. <laughs> it's Pepe world. <coughs> Pepe's world. Open from Dan. Two calls. Him, I don't have it. And a monster flop for Dan. Top pair for Zio as well. Oh, boy. Trips for Zio and trips for Dan, who also has a flush draw. Dan with almost 90% equity here. <laughs> and Dan bets almost pot. Where is him? Where is him? Mariano. He's just not here today. See you again with just a call. Playing it slow against a very aggressive opponent. And Zio does not improve. Ace Queen still good. And so I don't think Zio is going to get stacked here because when Dan bets, Zio is not really going to feel like he's able to raise, I don't think. His kicker's not good enough. And. Dan's going to go quite big, 9,000 into 5,000. And I think Zio's just going to shrug and call here. Oh. 
Yeah, there's the call. <coughs> and Zio not surprised by the showdown. Trips against trips. And a nice pot for Action Dan. Too many lap it. Now no. Okay. Popping all day. Non stop. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. I'm not saying, I just have asthma. Dan, are you married? Is that a wedding ring or? Me, no. Okay. Everyone's like, <laughs> you're married, Sam. I don't like girls right? now. I gotta find somebody who likes me first. <laughs> I like you. Okay, guys, my, <laughs> last, my, my last big play. I don't like you like Isn't that. My I don't mean, yeah. I don't think we're, we have a budding romance, but maybe like a bromance. Yes, thank you. I think you're a pretty cool guy. Okay, 25, 50, one. Oh. This would be under the ring, but you can always shuttle from this position if you'd like. Huh? Well, uh, uh, the one here. Here. Uh, okay. here. Ah, yeah, I'm, no. I'm first, uh, I just wasn't sure. Okay, uh, you have any? Okay, Sorry. Oh, okay. 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 And nobody has a whole lot. Um. So don't forget, we will be back tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific. Mariana will be here. Close to broke as well. Shout out to Sandor in the chat. We are on delay, so. Finally, players are done playing, or at least done with the stream portion of the evening. About 20 minutes left in the show here. Tom with a three bet. He's dominated by everyone. Pepe makes the call, so does Dan. 8,000 already in there. And there's an ace for Pepe and Tom. Big C bet here from Tom. Pepe continues. Tom drawing very thin because Dan had two of the fives. And now on the turn because even his eight would give Pepe a better straight. So one out for Tom. That's not going to stop him. 13,000. There's a call. Now, Tom can be beating some draws here. Mm -hmm. Checks it back, and Pepe's going to win a 42K pot. How much left? Uh, you give me 20 That's okay, plus okay, yeah? 30, 36, How much 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, of course, why not? I'm a small one. Huh? 
three times. Free bet from Dan. Gets through. I was going to do that. I had a really good hand, but I guess Dan had a better one. And by better one, it's probably like ace deuce. <laughs> Off suit. <laughs> Got it. Brace from Tom. Linglin defends. Ooh. Both for Tom. Unfortunately, Linglin doesn't have a whole lot. Defend from Linglin. And Dan with Four. flush draw. Bottom pair for Linglin. Dan's got position as well. I like his chances finding a win here somehow. Does bet the turn and take it down. <laughs> Shout out to Hugh Bleffner, gifting five chat oh, memberships. <laughs> Aces for Zio. Don't make me go tracksuit on you again. <laughs> Don't make me go full tracksuit. Well, you got shots. It's a thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Flip five hundred. I don't want to flip. I want to play poker. I want to play poker. Dan with the raise. Tom makes the call. And a king in the window. Tom with some backdoor potential here. But not a lot.
Feels like he's got enough to continue, though. No backdoors materialize on the turn for Tom, so action Dan bets here. It's probably going to be it. Chip counts. Thank you, Pepe. We'll see if that's it for the day. Thank you, Sandra. Thank Action you. Dan playing 48% of hands. Drew at 50% before he left. Tom and Lingland both above 40% as well. Dan also the most aggressive, 33% preflop raise. Tom, 30%. And Pepe, the big winner tonight, up 93K. Sandor having a nice night, 55K. And Action Dan winning 28. Crypto Drew losing 100,000. Dylan losing 40. Lingland down 38. So don't forget, we will be back tomorrow, 5 p.m. with Mariano. Action on Strado. Don't be never full. We're going to play another hand or two here, it appears. Four, eight. We went from Stratomania to normal. I didn't look yet. Ah, yeah. Said you don't look. I mean, I have to, I'm going to look. Okay, cool. How it. much? Eight. No look. Cool. Cool. Ah. So Pepe just calling. You look? Dan you raises. Look? You call them without looking? No, no, no. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, how much more? 25. Yeah. Heads up. Pepe makes the call. Ooh, a set for Pepe. Always great to have a set against a really aggressive opponent. 1600. Never fold, never fold. Never fold. No. Never fold this, that's life. for sure. Check. Three spades now. Check is good. Uh -huh. Dan does not keep bluffing. <laughs> and 10K from Pepe. <laughs> Four spades out there now. Pepe might re be regretting putting out this 10K blind. Would he really do that with just the ace of spades? Maybe not. But obviously, Dan has not a lot to work with here. And he lets it go. Come on, man. Good river? No. Good river. Bad river. So there we go. Pepe up almost 100,000 now. You see, I had a look. You didn't look? No. Aces? So we'll see if that's it for the evening. Pepe, Sandor, Action Dan, the big winners. I'm Charlie Wilmoth. Come back with us tomorrow, 5 p.m. with Mariano. See you then on Hustler Casino Live.